I think he's yeah. going to jail. He deleted all his tweets really quickly. <laughs> like, like, an, I've tried that one too. That yeah. doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know every trick. The, um... the boys. The boys cast. The lads. The boys cast. The dudes. We have a boys cast. The pros. We are here once again with Martin Strally cooking in person, which I didn't realize was not allowed to live in Manhattan. I'm banned from Tinder, Hinge, Manhattan. Just because you get impersonated? Uh, I think that's... They can't the... just ban you for... Who says? I mean, I guess. There's no, I guess there's no code of ethics at Hinge it's and Tinder. They're, they're call. I mean. How'd you get banned from Tinder? <laughs> uh, had too much riz, I guess. You know, it's just one of these things. Too much riz? <laughs> Riz overflow. Too much Riz. No, well, I mean, it's, I think the people at those platforms do the same thing they do on Twitter or any other place, right? They're, they have a vision for what they want on there. And yeah, I mean, there's they, no they, shortage of like women who I like, even I know who just get banned just because they get impersonated. I think so they much. want like soy boy type dudes, you know, yeah. on there. And you know, <laughs> it's just not, you know, it sort of is like a guy, there's a guy at Tinder who's just like trying to kick off all the fucking alphas. <laughs> You think he's on there swiping like legit? Like that's how they find you? Yeah. Well, Mar yeah. Martin did like the funniest thing ever. Dan like it was right after you did our podcast the last time that you did a Google Doc. Oh, dude, that spreadsheet, <laughs> man. Well, was... yeah, well, you have to make make do when you can. How many dates? So for people who don't know, you basically made a a spread like an open spreadsheet, and you just were like scheduled. The, the in chicks dates. had to fill out their own dates. So, yeah, and it was public. So yeah, it was you public. Like, I know. I looked you know, at it. <laughs> you couldn't be like, "Hey, Martin, I don't want my." info out there yeah. et cetera, et cetera. and one of the things was fuck on the first day yeah you had to f-o-f-t-d <laughs> or whatever yeah. yeah how many girls you meet up with from that um like i i don't know it's probably not worth talking about but the ultimately like dating in new york is easy i think you know yeah. it's it's just a question of like Especially if you're rich well that doesn't hurt but i think that like i don't know i also know the city i've been here forever so you know, you sort of see these archetypes over and over again. You of course. Get a mental map, I think. What's the New York archetypes? I know the Toronto ones, to be honest, better than New York, but... Yeah, there's so many. I mean, there's... I, I like to break them down by occupation. And, like, there's just tropes of, like, you know, young lawyer... Young accountant, young finance person. Like, young lawyer sort of is a trope that you do see a lot of. <laughs> Those girls are get down to business pretty fast. Um, it's a young lawyer puts out. I mean, they don't have time to do anything else, right? Young it's lawyer doesn't like, have to like work to the bone. Days. Yeah, yeah. But um, so Silicon Valley, it's uh, quite okay, a. Okay, so that's the well, yeah. We'll, talk, we'll maybe get to some other stuff, but the main thing was. The emer emergency podcast. Emergency so I'm like podcast. super glad you were able to come. We have to and convene all the idiots in one place <laughs> <laughs> and decide what to do. Well, there's two idiots in you. So. Well, no, the it's funny because Twitter thinks that Twitter bailed out the economy. It's really funny. I, I was it. right when you were walking in. I was looking at it and they are patting themselves on the Dude, back a little so bit. Dude, it's so crazy because you're like, they benefited so hugely from I it. I don't even know what to say about that. I'll, we can talk about that for well, hours. Okay, but so like, I think the place... Just, oh, yeah, sorry. No, I mean, just the idea that you think your posts on the social media somehow got to, you know, the Federal Reserve and the president who are like, oh, shit, do you see that Bobby, you know, b b b you know, Skank Hunt 42 or <laughs> sure. who like, who hit me the other day? Hyman Destroyer 17 or something. Uh, wanted to challenge me to a chess match. Um, uh, the Hyman Destroyer won, obviously. What happened to your Twitter, by the way? Uh, I got banned. Yeah. But, and they haven't given it back? No, no. I mean, it's... So, uh, okay, but actually, to continue that point... Do you not think that like people, because there's some, you know, like the Chamaths of the world are very, you know, do you know Jason Callahan yeah. or whatever? Yeah, I'm yeah, supposed you're to right. fight him someday. So. I've seen <laughs> are you fighting with Jason? <laughs> uh, I, I think we're going to squash the beef at this point, but uh, at, what one, was the at beef one point, about? oh, it was so bad. We were just fucking shitting on each other. Well, I've merciless. seen people almost on his behalf kind of come out and be like, oh, thanks to these guys for, you know, making such Dude. a stink. Kind of what you were saying. I Look, literally I, just saw that. I, I think everybody should advocate for their own thing, but it's about as like likely as, you know, you or me tweeting about, you know, what Taylor Swift's next album should be. And she's like, you know what? You're right. Okay. I but should the, make a rap album. <laughs> you know, I know what you not, mean, but like to play the devil's advocate no, I, on this. I don't think it had no effect. But even on your case, like wasn't the public sentiment, so isn't public I, I sentiment I believe in kind me of magic. Important? I mean, I, I really yeah, do yeah. think me magic. Yeah, happens, I feel like I, you believe in I, that. I think like at the same time though, 
this is a big deal. A bank is failing. Another bank is failing. So a good, it was actually a good double blind test. All the while, Signature Bank was completely insolvent. They're broke, yeah. right? They're New York Bank. And nobody was saying like bail out Signature Bank or anything like that. So these guys, so you know right there that it's kind of bullshit that these guys are like, no, you got to bail out. And the feds were like, well, everyone, we heard you. We're going to bail out Silicon Valley Bank. And oh, by the way, Silicon, uh, um, you know, Signature Bank's was bankrupt. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> that is a good point. Actually, <laughs> you know, I, haven't, I haven't heard that. To be honest, this is the first time I'm hearing of Signature Bank. Signature, yeah, no, it went. They, they that's the, the conspiracy. Yeah. That's the thing. So, uh, okay, so can Barney we do, Frank can, is, is it possible before we even start for you to give like, the 10 minute like the five to 10 minute version of what happened for idiots and not for like retards for like three out of 10 in te- like i people think that i could like, give like a 30 cut. second version yeah, yeah, right okay. like give um yeah, give just i think we should start there the cliff notes. before we banks are i mean the entire banking system's a, a wild insane casino that makes no sense to me especially after witnessing all of this and the shittier smaller banks are like the really shitty small casinos that you see in ac and so they basically take all your capital, you know, deposits, say it's a billion dollars or $5 billion, and they somehow get to loan out 10 or 20 times or 30 times as much money, which seems kind of nuts if you think about it. And so when the people who want their money back look for their money, you know, let's say it's, you know, they took in a billion and they lend out 20. Sounds fucking crazy off the bat, right? And the, the, uh, the depositors want their money back. They want the billion back. Well, there's no money left in the bank. To pay it back. And that's what happened to Signature Bank. It's called a run on the bank. It's what happened to Silicon Valley Bank. The problem is, uh, was exacerbated. And this can happen to any bank, right? No bank in America has enough cash to meet its yeah, deposit. Like theoretically, yes. because of fractional reserve because banking, fractional they can reserve all banking. be insolvent. Every single bank. They created that money. It's, you know, it's, and we'll get into it in a second. I feel like that's, but, yeah, it's yeah, the that's fractional the, reserve. It's like they take yeah, in a exactly. dollar and they lend out nine or something. As yeah, is, exactly. Right? So, but it is a concept that's hard to like for it's, a brain it's to understand. It's fucked up. Yeah. You know, well, the only way that it could fall apart is if everybody tries to get their money at once right and and i think that after this weekend a lot of people are wondering like why should i so so fractional reserve banking is not a bad idea but the problem is you give your money to a bank and they pay you they don't give you the profits of the loans they make right Right. they put that in their pocket they put that in their trader's pocket they that's what the that's the business model yeah and and you get shit (laughs) and and a lot of people are asking themselves why should I participate in this? Why am I taking all the downside? They're taking all the upside. And why? Do, yeah, why do you? To, to me, I, I think that it's something that I'm personally like reconsidering here after seeing Lehman Brothers, uh, after, you know, witnessing a bunch of banks fail. And now these two banks fail. It's like, what's the point? You know, well, why am I? What what benefit do I fucking get? Sure. For letting, guess, yeah. letting, letting you lend out my money. Would, would you let me lend out your money and keep all the profits? For Does that make sense? And I mean, the average well, person doesn't think that they're taking any sort of risk. Right. That's when they the lie. Leave money in the bank. They're just like, told, I think. they're like, I need to pay my rent and my bills. Right. And like, this it's, is just it's like a nice, easy, convenient way to do that. To right? do that. Yeah, exactly. But like nobody in their mind is like, yeah, I'm taking all this. What's money. the other option? Yeah. That's the other problem, right? You have no other option. <laughs> and like, yeah, I mean, to be honest, like, yeah, when you put your money, I see what, the other option is to invest it. But even then, I think I'm investing my money through a bank. I'm like, does that bank, like, can, if that bank goes under, do my investments go to under or do I still have yeah, those? Yeah, absolutely, right? Okay, That's so what I, do I actually don't own no those choice. stocks? I'm like, and so I really <laughs> yeah, like. they're never, because they never actually get Is that the not your keys, name. not your coins of stocks? Yeah, yeah. basically, yeah. And I mean, you have $250,000. So if I have money. like, a, let's say Congress. you have 10 grand of Amazon through Bank of America. You don't have 10 grand of no, Amazon. No, not, not unless you, so there's actually a way to do that with so-called certificate form. So if you ask the bank, like, no, I don't want you guys to hold my stock. I actually want the certificates, like these old fashioned medallions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually have that's one the thing. not your keys, not your coins. That's the one way you can. And then you put it in a drawer and you're like, yeah. you're safe or that's something. That's like you hear someone's like great grandfather yeah. died. <laughs> right. And they're like, I got IBM shares. And it's like an actual like piece of paper. Yeah. yeah. And there's guys in the back of the bank. Like I've had to do this a bunch of times where they actually have these, they're called medallion certificate. You know, it's this whole process. And they're like. Oh yeah, I do think we do that. And you go back, and there's like a, a secret chamber. <laughs> like, <stamp laughs> Didn't like Enron <laughs> certificates become like very like after the fact? Oh yeah, yeah. Like people have them on their walls They're and like shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. But I mean, I think that is kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think the system's just so stupid because like I, J.P. Morgan, I saw their you know people were memeing about it like their uh, all their accounts and like what you get. Every single one of them was zero point zero one percent. It's like. Why? What benefit what do, you mean? do I get? The I return get you get for depositing. Oh, you you yeah. buy it. You, it's basically nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and it's like they actually think that they're doing you a favor. 
Yeah. And it's it's really uh, I've argued with that with girls where they say they put their money in a savings account and I was like, there's no such thing. It's like <laughs> Well, there used to be. There used to be used to be the old man like, 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 <laughs> like back in the day, like it, it, wasn't, day. it wasn't like a lot, but like we've been in a zero interest rate environment for like ten years. Right, but they used to compete. They used yeah. to be like, Oh, you're off that bank's offering you one uh, percent, I'm gonna offer you one and a half. Now right? they're all nothing. Yeah, it's like <laughs> fuck you. You yeah, know, yeah, you yeah, have to put your money here or else. It's only like, hey, where 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 is more the only things you're really dealing with is like where are there more locations I guess yeah. mm-hmm. and then it's a convenience thing yeah, yeah and then yeah, what are the fees less I guess and who's like the least pain in the ass if you have to go deal with something okay yeah like it's like an airline you know like we're just like well the there's mortgages too like so mortgages you know, who will uh, give you a mortgage pe- people that's the biggest thing these guys do so they lend out all these mortgages and if everybody wanted their bank ba- uh, money back like I saw one of these banks that we're talking about now it was like 40 billion in deposit money so that's everybody. That's a liability to a bank. That's the yeah. other way. It's you think of it the other way around. Like a bank's asset is its depositors. No, that's a liability to them. They owe that money. Yeah. Right. It's their, so the, that's their biggest liability. What's on the asset side of the balance sheet? This bank with forty billion in loans had two billion of cash. You're sitting there like, what's wrong with this picture? Yeah, that's like it FTX. doesn't make a lot of fucking sense, right? That's it's a, a okay, so scheme. that's every I, bank. I went to jail for that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but nobody's gonna go. Nobody's getting insurance. I mean, that's hands. that's legal business. No, no. It, I mean, listen. I I'm memeing a little bit, but I, ultimately, it, it's a little concerning that <laughs> almost every institution in this country, banking institution, has two billion dollars of cash, forty billion dollars of money that's somebody else's, and if five percent of those people wanted their money back, there's no cash left. Yeah. So uh-huh. what do they have to do? They have well, they have some bonds, right? Well, they have to. So they might have to sell those bonds. Well, who do they have to sell the bonds to? Other banks. Right. They're yeah. in the same fucking position. <laughs> right. So, unless the what? Unless the treasury could well, that, take them back. And so that's the other part. Is okay. So, the but other, then they lose. It. But then they lose. Right. It, well, the other banks are. Let's say the other banks have the same problem. Well, the Fed says, well, don't worry about this. We'll print some money and buy those bonds from you. And it's if you think about it, it's like just a big circular definition of. Uh, well, how does the Fed print the money? Well, they can just print more money, and then the money you have in your pocket's worth less and less and less and less. Right. And it just becomes like because then the bank charade. loans out more money, which makes the supply bigger. It's also yeah, because yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. they never were ends. they were trying to say like all the VCs were like, yeah, this isn't a bailout, and you're like, okay, isn't this kind of inflationary? Okay, so that's so now that's a whole that's the I mean, spicy this is like, this so, is like one of the most so like, to go okay, so, so then parts. that's this what is happened. The spicy meatball, yeah, yeah, and I'll try to maybe because you guys probably both know a little bit more about this than me, so I'll if. So as it, so they that's how it started. That's like the general gist of the banking system. Well, well, let me talk real fast about. The, and then what, what did they? What was the specific problem. about this? One? Yeah, yeah. So so yes, exactly. So the the that's applicable to all banks. And if there's a crisis of confidence, it doesn't matter if the economy is good or bad. If everybody goes to the bank and withdraws their money, it all it's all turtles all the way down, as they say. So this bank. Uh, some people are, are calling the CFO smooth-brained. I don't know if that's an insult <laughs> or what, but apparently the guy. Um, bought a large amount of treasuries, which you would think is the safest thing you could buy. Ten-year, right? too. Well, so yeah. So, But if you think about it, just take a step back. The government debt, right, is our government especially, with all the guns and, and army, is the safest country in the world, according to everybody, yeah. right? But what's the strange thing here is that they actually, this bank collapsed by buying like, okay, if you loaned me all the money or you all the money, then right. you fucked up. Sure. You bought Bitcoin with all the money, you fucked up, right? They didn't do any of that. They bought the safest fucking thing that you could buy. Right. And they still went and bankrupt this, by buying the safest thing you buy. It makes you the, wonder. We can talk about, yes, but that's there's a reason, the there's a technical so reason. It's very important. But didn't they- But it makes you like sit there and scratch your head like- so what the fuck could they, you know? It, yeah. Now, I, I we mean, can I, explain the technicalities of what happened. And I heard they were like investing in weird stuff too. No, yes, not, no, they do. They, yeah, definitely they have do too, some but. weird stuff, but like their main thing was that they <laughs> just invested in 10 year government bonds when the interest rates were zero. And then you're like, but you know, like, I guess they got duped into. Well, what? It's not a dupe thing. It's like, what else do you buy? Most people say they the have same to, thing. Yeah. You have to buy that. And, and so I don't know, you know, like Bology or whatever. Because sure. his whole thing is he goes, it's the Fed's fault because the Fed gives their forecasts and they were like, we're not raising rates. So then he's like, well, then they went and they bought these bonds, assuming that the Fed was not. Well, but there's always lying. a margin of error on what the Fed says. Sure. So you can't. Well, of course. And again, that's the game. They, they a bit, react right? to like market conditions, right? They react to like their yeah, reactionary. You can, you can hold them account. Like I kind of just. Anyway, I, I agree. It I disagree. Out, right? I disagree just by with that two too. years, yes. 10 years, five years, 30 Three years. Three months. All, sure. Two months, one month. Yeah. You buy them all and 
you know, but the, the weirdest part is most banks fail because it's like, oh, yeah, John lent his girlfriend's company a billion bucks and uh, it's gone. So uh, we got to <laughs> fucking make up for that. And, you know, like that's really where most financial institutions fail, right? Like we bought these NFTs. Um, yeah, is that uh, happen a lot? No, but you're like, well, so, so I have a friend who is there's a big there's a big bank called Deutsche Bank and. It's like the messiest bank by far, right? And he's like, why is that like a small? Is that like a small one that's just like no, cowboy? No, huge, huge. Oh. Deutsche Bank is Germany. Didn't they have? Why like is the, it such a mess? Oh man, didn't they have the rogue <laughs> trader? They, they've had every. <laughs> What's the rogue trader? They, they've had some rogue traders. <laughs> like guys just like loses a billion dollars. He just decides to trade. Like doesn't and tell, not tell anybody, anybody that he's and trading. Just goes and loses a billion dollars. Wait, then, a banker like that works a trader on, like works on a trading desk. <laughs> and he just like basically probably How are they allowed to even do well that? what happens is i think they dig themselves such a hole and they i go, can't like, say i've done this or not done this <laughs> but basically <laughs> hypothetically what you would do is you pick up the phone at you know you call goldman sachs and you're okay. like hey hey that's uh john from goldman listen i uh i really uh we at goldman sachs we really and you know you're like an intern there <laughs> like we we are at goldman sachs uh we uh we're really big fans of Tesla. Yeah, saw saw Monroe Rogan. Uh, gonna <laughs> gonna have to buy a billion dollars of that for uh, Goldman Sachs. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> and like when they come back and they're like, all right, you bought a million shares of Tesla. It's uh one hundred twenty two spot two two five. And you're like, uh huh uh huh. And you write it down and you're like, all right, now I have to figure out how to make sure nobody finds out about this. How do you do and that? There's, there's sort of two ways. The first is what you're alluding to, which is like. You you make money and your boss is like oh shit good job John and, they, <laughs> and that's your in your harebrained fucking mind you think that's okay. why you think it's gonna happen yeah, that's how you and get the a reason promotion. it's what you said where you're like uh, yo this is I'm down like two hundred grand uh, two hundred grand like over the last week I need to I need a big trade yeah. assuming you're even a trader allowed to, allowed to do this to, stuff yeah. but like nine times out of ten they call security and they're like what the <laughs> you right. know let's get sell all someone this stuff. finds I mean you you fired. almost always go to jail over but I think stuff, one time right. out of ten <laughs> did the company <laughs> lose all the money one I mean, we don't. I'm sure we don't know about people who have absolutely because one time out of ten, some guys like you know, everyone's like causing commotion, and one guy's like the older, like senior guy's like, "Hold up, let's see how this goes. <laughs> <laughs> let's fucking do this." Sure, yeah. come here, come here, kid. You're about to get a lesson in how this works. <laughs> and it's like half the probably half the Wall Street traders who made it like started out that way, but you know, like took some wild swing at the yeah, beginning. Yeah, and they're like, "Whoa, what the fuck? Is, what the fuck is Paul doing? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And let's, this is working. Let's fucking." Is that it. the equivalent of like the guy that's like he's gonna lose his job in his house and he takes like everything and just goes puts it on black and sitting that's what see what's happened? You're yeah, like, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, I mean, the big bad ones of these banks are like guys who literally find a way to like they hack the system and they hide that they've been buying. Like, like, like uh, Sam yeah. Bankman Fried, essentially. Like, it's, but, it's exactly know, right. At a bank, yeah. yeah, and it's happened like literally at every bank. It's happened to the tune of over a billion dollars, yeah, at least a dozen times. Wait, say say that again. Well, the, he's just saying they'll they'll place trades and like they can hide it, like like the. Oh, the I see what you're saying. The, the, record that, of it, so SPF nobody did. finds. Yeah, because it. you're working there and you're like, well, what I realized is nobody checks this thing. Yeah. So if nobody checks this thing, let me see. Let me try doing it with a yeah. billion dollars. And then a week goes by, and no one's like, "Who, who bought that? Uh, who bought that? Uh, you know that meme stock?" Or okay, something. and it's like, okay. So do you think noticed. they were doing that at this company? Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. I, I, so, so this company mostly lent. Uh, they actually had relatively conservative, as we know. Yeah, like, yeah, so everyone was saying that's the weirdest. Straight, thing. I don't know. I just God, kept hearing the that, money like, on people bonds. saying they had weird stuff. Or, they do do no, weird, a couple of weird things. Yeah, but it was only like one percent, but yeah. some people were still saying it should be zero. No, they had. Um, so right. one of their things was, and it's on their thing, is the premium wine. So if yes. you look at their like yeah. balance sheet, there's like a billion, one point one billion, and it said premium wine, and it was, but because they have, they lend money to vineyards. In, it's not that crazy. It's not that crazy, but the way it was phrased, you go like they you also lend a, money like uh, companies. I know, like in biotech, they used to lend a lot of money to biotech companies that lose money, which yeah. is probably not a good, you know, generally not a great idea. But they made it work, and yeah. you know, I think the weirdest thing is that they they went broke buying the safest, like what's considered around the world to be the safest, safest thing investment in, in the world. Ex- it's next not to a, cash. Safe and liquidity, uh, safe and liquid are different things. So you right? really so, don't think it was like anything that crazy going on at this bank? And that's kind of what makes it scary yeah right and so Uh this is this is the real upshot here is that the meme warfare that can like we live in such an interconnected world it's just such a like a stupid trope and kind of trite to say but like between i think the lessons from gme and amc where a bunch of retards can sort of get together and buy (laughs) uh, a company that's not very valuable and make it really valuable and cause all kinds of chaos here you have like almost something more nefarious where it's like a little panic can spark uh, um, you know, this like run on a bank very quickly. And if you have like hedge fund dirty tricks, like, 
you start shorting the stock, then yeah. you start. And apparently, there's oh, a guy on Twitter. Worse, like pretty well, there's a guy on Twitter who's doing this for the First Republic, and I think he's What's going. What's that? To, I think he's doing? going to jail. Uh, so he deleted all his tweets really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> too bad there's such a thing as the Wayback Machine. I, I, I've tried that one too. That yeah. doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. I know every trick. The, um, the, uh, the, yeah, some weird guy like over the weekend, he's like the FDC, FDIC is already at the First Republic office. He was like trying to cause a run of oh, the bank. He, like, he thought he was slick. And really? He deleted everything from his like Twitter, his LinkedIn. He's trying to like go dark, but like- I mean, is that illegal? Is, is that, I think oh, is right. that yeah. the fire in a crowded theater? Yeah, 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 exactly yeah, right. Market I don't know if it's market manipulation. It's a mix of all that shit. Yeah. Like, I actually heard, I was trying to listen to all the, like one of the things I feel like why- like you're a good person to sort of hear your opinion on it because like it's really hard to get like unbiased. Everyone's like has skin in the game on this. Yeah, you know? yeah. not like, to say you probably have all none, the, but yeah, but like, like all the VCs or whatever who are who are essentially saying like oh like there's a run. You're like you guys started it. Well, well, you literally all that. in your Slack channel in their in their like chat groups and stuff. In their chat groups are all like we should all pull our money because who knows. Yeah, it's kind of weird. And then they're yeah. like, and then they all pull their money, and they're like, "Hey, there's a run on the bank." Like, yeah, because you're all pulling your money out. It's yeah. like one of, you're it's doing like that it. meme where the guy shoots. Why'd you do that? Yeah, you know? totally. And they're all like buddies. Like it's a small world. It's it's. I think it's really scary. And I think that a, what's going to happen and what should happen, in my opinion, out of this is that we kind of debank a little. And I'm not sure that means like crypto necessarily or something like that. But like, I still like sitting here synthesizing that I've been a financial analyst for 20 years. I carry one of these uh, with me, by the way. I keep this on me at all times. This gentleman. What is it? Is oh, it oh, yeah. Palm Pilot? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Far. Blackberry. Oh, okay. This is an HP 12C. I guarantee uh, you, please. What year is this from? What well, is it? Is in, the 80s, like... in the 80s, this was the thing on Wall Street. And nobody it, has one anymore. This is a calculator. It's a calculator. Yeah, try to do any kind of mathematical calculation on it. And it's well, impossible because it's it's completely useless. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, unless you know how to operate it. So 65 uh, it's, Okay, yeah, no, it's every time I it's yeah, doing it all sorts work, of yeah. weird shit. It's called it does it uses reverse Polish notation. What? So that's what how you know it's good. I don't know. RPN. No, in the eighties on Wall Street, this is this is the only way you could calculate duration on bonds and all this shit. And I guarantee in you nobody a quick way. Yeah. And I guarantee nobody it's so it was sort of like a short form like stock calculator. Between suspenders, cocaine, and this, <laughs> like this is basically your eighties Wall Street. This is yeah, where is where we are. <laughs> thing is pretty slick. Although I don't know, where's like the the clear button? Don't even worry about it. There isn't really a clear <laughs> I was button. like, where's the C button? <laughs> no, I, I had one I had one of these as a kid. And um it it's like if you need to know like what the yield to maturity on a bond is that's rapidly changing, like this is what you would use. And to this day, like it's still actually kind of useful. Um, computer- Did you actually carry that with you always? I, I keep like so in, in prison. One of, in prison, one of the terms you hear is "I keep it on me" or "keep it with me." It means a gun. Yeah. yeah. So this is you know this, I don't leave home without it. I, just, I might That's have so to funny. discount a bond you know at any time. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> figure out some net present values or something. It's all about PV. But uh, no, in all seriousness, I think like why would anybody just sitting there logically let a bunch of like basically wackos at these banks, so-called professionals uh, like me, uh, take your money, <laughs> lend it at, not just like lend it, but lend it 20 times over. And all those yeah. loans, I'm not going to give you a fucking That is set. crazy to think of. I know that right? is what it is, but someone says like, I give you a dollar and then I go, I now I lend 20 people a dollar. And, yeah. and I'm not, like, well, I have that one dollar. So right. I don't want a dollar. Well, but you're you're going to make a fortune, but I'm not giving you any. Right. And then I invest the dollar. <laughs> all, all you really get out of it, as far as I understand, is access to like a mortgage. Because you probably yes. wouldn't have like mortgages like that's true, like they exist. And all, you need to be able to pay for everything with your card. But no, no, no. no. Well, that part, that part hopefully will change, Sarah, right? Really, because I mean, if you have a thousand dollars in the bank and you can just pay, like, you can buy your stuff with that money. But that—that's how, like, essentially things grow. Is that they? But go isn't there a place where I can put it. my money into a bank, pay a fee, and they're not allowed to go? I lend think that's. It out? I think that's what's going to. That's going to what's coming. Yeah. Like, well, and, no, and, but again, you do have coverage up until two hundred fifty. Well, that's the thing. So, to, okay, so go to the other way though. You are sort of saying like uh, that that's the argument you're a little bit making where it's like it is kind of crazy, but it's like, well, it is kind of guaranteed because then the government just bails them out if anything goes wrong. Sure. But do you want to be on the receiving end of a bailout? Do you want to be like in that line? And what happens when the government? Maybe not if I'm a company, but if I'm like me right now and it was like. Okay, I just lost like X amount of dollars, but I'm gonna get it in the next month. Like it's not, I don't know. Like, okay, like whatever. Why, why participate in this insanely fragile like <laughs> Rube Goldberg system yeah. of like I like your idea, which is like, okay, here's my life savings, a hundred thousand dollars. You're you know uh, my uh, poor immigrant family, and you work really hard to to make this money. 
I want the, you to hold this money for when I need it and don't do fucking any or allow me to do don't... transactions. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's like, no, 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 no. We need some, to lend this money out to like a hundred fucking thousand they would not, parties. It would <laughs> take some a banker with the most willpower of any banker in the history <laughs> to just let that money Which, just. It, sit it there. sort of makes you wonder if Sam Bankman <laughs> isn't wrong because it's like, I, as much as like of a fuck boy he is, like you have to ask yourself like. He was just kind of doing what every other bank was doing. He didn't do it in. They just can't get a government bailout because they're not a technical bank. Yeah, yeah, they're not exactly, even. Yeah. They're not even like. Uh, in <laughs> they're, not, they're not. They're anything. not. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, but they weren't even allowed to be in America. That's why they're in the Bahamas. Right. Because right. that was another thing. There were people are like losing all this money, and I'm like, well, should I get my money back that I lost in FTX? Like, right. It like, does. Make I mean, I guess the difference. Yeah. yeah well, it's, is it that different? And like all the companies, not that, different at all. That it's not. I know. And then all these companies were, who were like, "Well, we have to get our deposits because we'll lose our deposits," and we didn't know. But they're like specifically, they're say they're uninsured. Like uninsured against what? Yeah. I mean, I feel two ways. Like I, I, I don't fully agree with like the Twitter mob that was like, "Bail it out now, or everything's going to shit." But I also don't think the bail was a good idea. Well, then bail like, it out now. Yeah, because there is. You're right. It is such to. I mean, I don't totally know what I'm talking about, but like I, I'm i watching two people who definitely don't know what they're talking about <laughs> on the internet. And it was like, there's two groups. One is kind of like, yeah, this we need to bail this out because it's you know going to be cat- cat- catastrophic for the economy. But most of those people are personally affected. Yeah, so yeah, you can't, yeah, exactly. they're all, you don't, it's hard to listen to anything they're saying because they're all like, and then the other side just like hates billionaires, hates right, right, like right. tech bros. Like, so they're just like, oh, some- Or hates the government. Hates, or hates the government. Yeah, and they're also that. like, we don't have any money anyways. Like a lot of people are like, I don't have money. So what do I care if these people lose their money? This doesn't affect me. I think me. Silicon Valley learned that a lot of people hate Silicon Valley. You know, I think a lot, a lot of people right are now. like, oh, wow, we didn't know. Like, we th- we're we the good guys. We created all these startups, <laughs> yeah, right? We, yeah, yeah, we created all these social media apps that are ruining <laughs> society. Uh, yeah, people hate, people do not have a, so, like a, so have I a think stink a lot on of them. people learn that. Over You're right, because the they see themselves as like, obviously, people think badly of the financial sector, but Silicon Valley, they see us Absolutely as like, heroes, yeah. you know, heroes that are saving the world. And everyone's like, no, like, that's not how people see you. Really. I think probably half of the startups in Silicon Valley don't need to exist and probably the world would be fine without well, them and that, <laughs> that was another thing with the silicon valley <laughs> bank was people are like yeah all these companies who are like can't make payroll and losing their deposits they're like they're never going to make a penny ever like probably not but i <laughs> that's still such, think that's, that's exactly because like, all the companies like, useless, were, like, i still think it's ideas. a bad take because ultimately okay, there probably why? is a microsoft there there probably is a cancer yes. cure in there somewhere in there somewhere right. that's is does matter but like you know the thing i about got a, you you're saying that because it's obviously there, there's companies that are like profitable and they're like cooking, but they're just growing. And then there's the other ones yeah. that like it's binary where they're going to be worth zero until they're not. And that's probably more of like the pharmaceutical game, to be honest, sure. I guess. But then, yeah. So then for those companies, yeah, one of you them. You feel bad for them. But at the same time, like, do, you know, you set up the system and then when you watch the system and then if something goes wrong, like, oh, stop the system. Let me fix the system. And it's it feels like very interventionalist. A lot of uh, people on the right don't like that, like. You know the government's gonna go swoop in and say. Well, they did. They didn't like it until yesterday. Now that they all seem to like it. (laughs) (laughs) Well, no, because I think like uh, one of the guys running for president, uh, this guy Vivek Ramaswamy. uh, Yeah, he got killed. People really didn't like what he had to say, but he was very like you had to give him a little credit for at least putting his neck in the guillotine and then saying, no, okay, what, did, what did he say? <laughs> he got, he got <laughs> yeah. to be like, he really no, he, like he doubled was, down he's on He's like it. a tech dude and he was like, let it, like, let them fail. Let them fail. He's like, he has to, this has to fail. Let them fail. Let them lose their money. Like they took hazard. a risk. Yeah, it's moral hazard. They took a risk. And that's, like, that's like the libertarian take. Yep. Yeah. And all the tech people are like, dude, not cool. Like any goodwill you ever had running for president, you've lost. <laughs> right. Like big, right, biggest because mistake it, you've ever made. Everyone like, he knows is like, okay, but that's going to cost me a billion dollars. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the weird thing because the libertarians are the silk. Some of the Silicon Valley guys are saying. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Fuck the government. Fuck the government. It's like, oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> not no, today. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> where's, yeah. Where's the government? Um, and they keep saying they're like, well, you know, we're we're just they just need to like so there's not other runs like they're trying to think of it as a, like. But that being said, it's like okay, I I also feel that way where it's like I have my principles, but like 
It's the same thing. Okay, here's for example. Like I see myself as like somewhat like I don't agree with necessarily socialized entertainment in in Canada. But if like they said, hey, we're giving out hundred thousand dollar grants, I'm not not taking one. For, yeah, out of do you know what I mean? like you're not that principle. Well, I mean, I don't even <laughs> like I don't even yeah like for what to what end you're like you're so if they're saying the government shouldn't get involved in things but then they get involved in everything all the money to this all the money to Ukraine all the money to this there's some hypocrisy there well well, no I get the idea of being like but not my sector like you know what I mean yeah you're you're saying okay well yeah I would want the government to not be involved but since they are already involved I'm gonna take mine Sure. And Does I that guess, make sense? yeah. Or? And there is the one element where people are like, well, there's going to be this bank run and like, who really knows what's going to come of it. Right. That's the other. I mean, it could be contagious, et cetera. I think though, one take. What do I you saw, think? Yeah. One take I saw is pretty good is like, cause I've, I've had a lot of startups, uh, both succeed and, and not do well. And, uh, you know, it's 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 such a Darwinian nasty process of and even a podcast, right? I mean, I'm sure your podcast wasn't as successful day one, you know, and no. it took a long time to, to get yeah. to where you got. And, um, you know, when you see that and then you see these guys like, oh, their bank failed. And it's like, oh, no, no, Monday where they're, they're fine. They're back in business. And <laughs> it's, it's like, crazy, yeah. you know, I wish every problem I had in life, <laughs> right. you know, yeah, there yeah, was somebody yeah. to just sort of like fix it. And, and it's only the banks. It's not no, not a, really any other companies, maybe right. dairy or something. And by but. the way, the, they're telling you, OK, you have 250K guaranteed, which, you know, maybe that makes you payroll. Maybe that doesn't. You're going to get this is on Friday. They're already saying on Friday. You're going to get 250 automatically by Monday. You're going to get another slug of money very quickly. Um, and like, should you have two bank accounts? Probably if you're a business, right? Like, yeah. you know, um, so there's a number of things there that kind of don't add up, like crying fire. Like, okay, I understand if this is going the other way where it's like the bailouts don't like what you're saying, where it's like you should be diversified. And you're like, anyone saying it now would be like, make sure you diversify. It's like, or what? It's going to be uh, annoying for two days. Yeah. <laughs> what the government steps in because you're too big to fail. That is so funny. But hedge funds in, in 2000, before even 2008, but after, especially after 2008 in Lehman Brothers, every hedge fund had bare minimum four brokers. Because what happens when one of them fails? I don't want all my money in that one place, right? And right. brokerages can fail. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. just like Anything banks. Can, you know, they're, they're, than... they're very similar, banks and brokerages. And then the other thing, I guess, these are like the smaller banks, whereas the... So you were, the big ones well, are guaranteed, sort of, right? They're too big to fail, yeah. They're like the globally... Systemic. Yeah, JP Morgan's probably not going to fail. Well, they can't be allowed to because it would just it would cause such mayhem. So that's because apparently of... they there was a, like the Silicon Valley Bank. Someone wanted to buy them, but it was right. one of those big banks, and they're like, we don't want this going to them because it doesn't really fix anything. Like they'll just still make the same stupid decisions. It just makes it more monopolized because they know that they can't fail. Yeah, like I don't. It's, I it's think that's frustrating to too. I mean, I think. Uh... Honestly, I'd I'd be happy if a lot of this stuff changed quite a bit because I think there's, like I said, just a lot of moral hazard from like the depositor gets nothing. The depositor's treated like shit, and you know, and nobody likes bank customer service. And the know. and the bankers are so much smarter than the regulators that it's like it just feels they're like always a game find of, another trick to yeah. find a way to fuck up. You know, regulators really remind me of like when you see like a a movie with like a really dumb like IRS guy. I mean, their IRS, I guess, isn't that dumb, but like a guy that's just like, don't do no, do do. Like they're so, <laughs> they're trying to plug up like a loophole that they're 10 times ahead of probably. Yeah, and that's what happened with FTX and that's sort of what happened here, right? There's- Oh, this, FTX, they're a hundred steps behind probably. Right, yeah. right, no, exactly. But there's, there's something called OCC, which almost no American knows what that is. And it's the officer or the office, the currency and controller, they regulate the banks. So the FDIC is just- when shit hits the fan. Okay. The OCC is supposed to monitor all banks and keep track of everything. And there's probably going to be some questions about, well, what about them? What'd they do? You know? Because yeah. this should have been a, re like, regulars theoretically should have at some point. What should they have done? I mean, there was, I saw someone Made posted, sure the duration was diverse. Yeah. I, what, I, what does that I, mean? Well, I think that the Wu-Tang Clan said it best uh, <laughs> on the Chappelle show that sometimes you need to diversify your bonds. Yeah. Oh, uh, th yeah. I see what you're saying. That's and, the, it. and then on top of that, to me, I, the, I mean, you didn't mention this yet, but to me, the th the one thing that listening to all the different people that like stood out to me is like cra the craziest was the fact that when they have those like bonds and they can go down like 50 percent and yeah, then they don't, they have, don't to have to them. change the adjustment. So when right. they say, hey, we have like 30 percent of your money on on file, like we actually only have like. It's like we have like it's gone down a lot. It's yeah. like we have only uh, or whatever when we have what is it five percent of your money on file? It's like we actually have three percent because it went down and we didn't have to adjust it. That to me seemed like 
How did that even? I don't know. That's the part where I was like, "How is that even allowed?" Yeah, no, it's all nonsense. Well, that's I mean, the whole thing. And what is the words for that? It's it not mark to market. Well, yeah. that, that that was just yeah because, because and they, the, like what I'm saying, right? Because it's like yeah, if your yeah. money's worth a hundred and your stock goes down twenty percent on paper, you have eight. You have well, 80%, the nice thing about but, a bond is at least you know you have a claim that you're going to get paid back at par value. So if the bond trades down, you can hold it on and you'll get your money back that's eventually. The so you know, I don't have to mark it down. But it's kind of bullshit. And Be- because the whole thing's kind of bullshit. If you, yeah. I mean, I've, I've lived this life in finance forever and I still like scratch my head and say like, what's the point? If if hedge funds and, and bond funds, they'll pay you 5, 10% theoretically. It's not a guarantee. But like at least they're giving you a cut. Right. The bank doesn't give you a cut, and it doesn't make sense to me that J.P. Morgan can make twenty or thirty billion dollars. You're kind of right, or even and they like can't give YouTube. me one percent a year. Like, yeah, yeah, because even like if you think about like how YouTube, they're very often right. they're like we're essentially operating as an ad agency, and we give X percent. Like, why wouldn't those banks just be like, hey, we're essentially a hedge fund that yeah. with your money, and we are allowed to. You guys are our customers, and then we have. Uh, Seven percent of those profits gets divvied to you, and we keep the other ninety-three. Yeah, but then you assume risk at that point, or like, you I already mean, are assuming yeah, risk. That's, 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 that's our point. Well, that's yeah. what, but I'm saying that's nobody knew. Like, not that they didn't know that, because it's hard to believe that they like truly didn't know. I at least it was. Just, I prefer the truth. Like, yeah, you know, stab was, me in the front. They you know? kind of, like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. They. I think all those companies were like, yeah, you know. It's like we're at the bank. Like you're not gonna what? Your bank's gonna take our deposits? Like surely that can't happen. I, and that's the but other... like that used to. I saw something where they were saying in like the uh, the 80s and even like way before that. But like the 80s, like SNL their banks crisis. going under like yeah. once every week or some shit. Like, yeah, SNL was, crisis was a was a crazy uh, thing. But the best tweet was that we have a once in a generation crisis every year. Yeah. <laughs> you know, every, it's uh, kind of do. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's Dude, so stupid. And this one, you're like, hey, this is this a huge deal, and it's like. It could be very possible in a month. It's just like, we, yeah, yeah, moving on. Like, I think we moved on today. It does feel like there's a <laughs> once a- in a generation crisis. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to step away from this episode for one second to tell you about sheath underwear, the underwear that me and Danny are both wearing now that I am always wearing. The ones with the ball pouch. I don't, listen, I'm a company man yeah, through and through. Too. When I tell you I use sheath, when I, when, like, when I look you in the eyes and tell you I wear sheath, it's a, it's a pair of underwear that I feel comfortable about. I think it's the best underwear that has ever been made. It's I like the fantastic. owner. It has a pouch for your balls. Yep. And this is something that if you're running, they were made when he was in Afghanistan. Mm-hmm. He just went there to get trim, from what I hear. <laughs> There's, there is debate whether he was there doing army stuff or he was there because there was a bit of a tourism situation. A tourism. But it gets hot over there, and that's where they came up with the technology. It's a pouch for the balls. The underwear looks great. It makes you look great on top of everything. They have moisture-wicking technology. You want to get on here. Try out the sheath underwear, the most comfortable boxer briefs you'll ever put on your body, the stretchy fabrics made from moisture-wicking technology. They're super soft. And they keep everything cool, comfortable, and in the right place. Sheath particularly useful for staying cool while you're in the summer or whether you're working out. You just wear them with like a pair of regular underwear if you want to. You don't have to do the whole pouch and the ball thing. But if you want to. If you want to. It's, it's sometimes, sometimes I'll go back and forth on or it. Or sometimes you can just put something in there. Something if you want to just you gotta carry something yeah, around. Yeah, you, gotta, you, gotta, yeah, yeah. you don't want to lose it. You don't want to lose her. Maybe yeah. keys. They're the most comfortable Reese you ever wear. They got new material like a bamboo and mesh for cooling comfort. They'll be the most comfortable pair, like I said, that you've ever worn. So you want to use the promo code BOYSCAST. You're going to get 20% off your order when you cruise on over to sheathunderwear.com. That's sheathunderwear.com. Cruise over. Check out the things. Mostly a black uh, black with the blue writing in the sheath. Yeah, I like the, the Matrix one that I have the most. The Matrix ones are cool. The Matrix ones are my favorite. <laughs> she thought, great guy. They sponsor all the cool comedy podcasts. Cruise on over there, because if you know me, you know I love cruising. Danny likes cruising. He pulls the pouch out of the balls, <laughs> and you use the code BOYSCAST for 20% off. Sheathunderwear.com. Yeah, I mean, one of the funny things, I don't know if you guys want to segue, but um, sure. I've been getting into AI yeah. quite, a, quite a bit lately. And uh, it's pretty fucking crazy. Um, so half the Silicon Valley now has moved from crypto to AI. So everyone's down with crypto. So AI is the new thing. And and uh, there's some fucking hero that leaked the entire Facebook system on 4chan. And now everyone's like sharing it over the last- What four- do you mean system? So 
it's they call them large language models, LLMs. So I think I oh, they, so, oh, really? <laughs> so open AI is this like the least open company of all time. Exactly. It's like really should just be fucking, they should really kill the name because yeah, it's, it's at this point it's ridiculous. They start off as a not-for-profit. They fucking scrap that they idea. Like, hey, we're, like a, we're like a children's data uh, distribution. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? We're like, hey, if you, are you, you know, um, you know, eight years old and you want to get like some data, we can retrieve it for you. <laughs> I just, I just think that like you couldn't lie. I'm not sure I understand the joke, but the- The joke was, I'm well, you're sort of saying that is, I, I, from what I understand that you're saying that like it's not open, you can't actually get the real deal. Right, right. But right, it was so I was saying like started, it's like yeah. for a seven year old. Like if you were someone in grade one, you would let you use it, but not like an adult. Oh, totally. I mean, they start off as a non for profit. They fucking killed that idea once they realized they were billionaires. <laughs> they uh, like, oh. that is that is it's pretty funny. Yeah, <laughs> and then all, <laughs> it started by billionaires though. Well, Peter Thiel started it, but the, everyone else wasn't. Oh, and okay. Not Peter Thiel, I'm sorry. <laughs> wrong guy. Elon Musk. Elon Musk. <laughs> uh, wrong, wrong master of the universe. Oh, he started it. He, Elon... They were like all co-founders, then he left. And then like these dudes are now super rich. They're all billionaires. Good for them. But they started as a non-profit, and they call themselves OpenAI. They don't give any of their software out, uh, the code out, and they're for profit. And so, yeah, so you're, now you're none of those things. Yeah, and so that that I mean, I use their software every day, so I'm not like, what do you use it for? I hope they don't cut me off. Like I'm I'm building apps in this space, and I want to tell you about it in a second. But it, the funniest thing, the comedy part about this, at least, is some dude on Facebook just said, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna upload 200 gigabytes of this of our model that cost us like 100 million bucks to make. And fuck it, it's on 4chan now. And what? so every AI guy or wannabe like me has like you know, bags under their eyes over the last four days trying to get this thing to work. And finally we got this thing to work. So Wait, are you, so are you just like with all these other like people on the line that you kind of have like a crew? I'm, I'm part of this uh, crazy- <laughs> part of a hacking squad? <laughs> crazy group. Well, I have a software company <laughs> first and foremost, <laughs> but I ha also have this crazy fucking crew uh, that I've become like the fourth acolyte, I think like the fifth dragon- member or something like that. And they're that. all like four chan dudes? Dude, no, it's so fucking crazy. It's called uh, E... Uh, we call ourselves EAC. E slash okay. ACC. This, you're going to read about this. Okay. Oh, really? About this. Are people not going to like it? <laughs> well, I mean, it's starting on 4chan. <laughs> At least it's not 8chan. It didn't start on 4chan. Um, it's... Uh, uh, so it's on Twitter mostly. And the leader is this mystery guy um, named uh, Beth Jezos. And Do you know him in real life? A little. Okay. Um, I've, I'm in the I'm into Scientology tier. I'm like in the Tom Cruise yeah, yeah, era yeah. <laughs> uh, or sphere, like but I'm not like. Know, kinda. Yeah, I'm in. I'm 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 senior enough, but yeah, I think yeah. there's also dudes I don't know that. Yeah. And know. they might touch you. You're a little like high, like public for maybe for what they want too, right? Well, no, no, we're well. That's nice. Are you like a like, liability? They, <laughs> eventually, I think they'll kill me. But the uh, so the goal of this group is to accelerate. It, well, first of all, I can't speak for the group. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right well, I will end up in the Hudson like, River. But exist. so, so we're, we're gaining a lot of steam because we had this thing with Grimes the, last night. Uh, what happened with Grimes? She, she's like, I don't know if she's a part of our group yet or not. But Wait, like, Grimes is involved. <laughs> Grimes, Grimes, Grimes is def def definitely involved. It's not Fortune. Uh, we're on Twitter. But it just got leaked on Fortune. It got leaked on Fortune. So oh. we're called Effective uh, Accelerationism, which is the opposite of EA, which you probably heard from Sam Bankman, which is Effective Altruism. altruism right. right. So That's what he did with like fucking money. Right. Right. And he memed about. It. He was like, "Oh, it's." You know, oh, are you in a victim? Yeah, yeah. Oh, where did he touch you exactly? He's a, <laughs> no, Martin, he's a survivor. <laughs> he's a survivor. Sorry, sorry. I believe. I'm FTX strong. Um, I, I got so, the avatar and everything. So EAC, um, everybody else has a different opinion, but basically, like, I think, and I think a lot of the other guys and gals think that it's bullshit to want to slow down the AGI that's coming. AGI is uh, artificial general intelligence. So this is when the machines are smarter or as smart or smarter than us. And o open AI is, and chat GPT, if you played with it at all, you probably get some good skits out of it because the thing we is- We did one. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's pretty funny. Um, so the the thing that got leaked, Llama, has no guardrails. I mean, you can ask it the craziest yeah, shit. Yeah, nothing. And, and it's just like- But some stuff is opinion based no matter how you slice it a little bit, right? Well, what's even this machine, right? Like, you know, you don't even yeah, know I what it's I guess you're asking doing. at some point, the, you're like formulate an opinion. No, but if you ask OpenAI to do that with ChatGPT, it it's like, no, it I has, can't touch that. Yeah, I can't touch, but I'm saying with this thing, it goes, you know, hey, I'm asking you. We finally got it to work. How does it, how does it How does it do that? Does it take- what the opinions are and try to take the one that's most popular. Like it's, how does it, it does a big calculation? Yeah. At the end of the day, but like, 
you can force it. At the end of the day, it's like, hey, this is, I'm reading this, I'm reading this, this is the one that seems kind of the most true based on whatever things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I mean, explaining the math behind it's, uh, you know, would, would put us all to sleep. But I think basically okay. it's, it's just doing some wildly complex calculation and what you feed it is kind of going to determine what comes out. But the funniest thing is that you can ask it like, you know, we asked it some pretty perverse things, but like, <laughs> um, cause like I, I actually, like we got it to work and it was this eureka moment because it was like the first time we can ask something without this filter, without this bias, right? Like you sure. want to ask it like, well, who is the greatest rapper of all time? And you know, if you what ask does it open say? AI, well, if you ask open AI, it's gives like, you the top five. Everyone, well, you guys is like, well, I can't really sales. form an opinion because I'm a large language model trained by open AI to conform to the terms <laughs> and conditions of open AI. And it's, it's like a pussy. It's a politician. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> and uh, media trend. I, I said of the following four races, the best race is. <laughs> <laughs> It was bad. <laughs> and it was um, answering that kind of stuff. It, it, it'll answer anything. It's I mean, it, it, it but is. But we were asking, limits. like, you could ask, like, when it, but it's funny with OpenAI, and we've talked about this a lot, but it's like, there were certain questions, like, it would it would answer if you asked it about, uh, like, ra certain race things. Like, you could say, you know, which race has the most this or whatever, and it would answer. But if you said, like, which race has the smallest dick, like, or something like that, it wouldn't answer. So it's like, it's very selective, too. It's, it's, so it's they, so obvious. They got but. it to work pretty well, but there's other jailbreaks and stuff. So this thing, you don't have to jailbreak it at all. But you guys are a set, you guys aren't like theirs but you you've co different, had a different code yours is like a whole separate thing it's Our, facebook's one yeah this is facebook's thing that leaked and i think they leaked it intentionally to be honest um and do you what's the interface for it so you have to like like so you guys have some crazy we've all spent the last four days everyone in this community has spent the last four days literally sleepless trying to get this thing to just creating to the work. interface essentially yeah and and this some dude cracked the code and we're all playing with it now or trying to and people have gotten to work on their own phone. Like people have got like pretty wild stuff. Four so, days? Last four days since it got leaked. It's wow. we now, yeah, it's working on phones, which is crazy because. So you basically have like these four or five or however many people in your squad that are all just like, just like super smart people that are all just like working. My, no, no. My coworkers and my company are four or five very smart people. This EAC movement has gone from like 10 or 20 people to like. It's exploding. Oh, like, okay. And so the idea is- And uh, is it sort of like a blockchain situation where everyone can sort of work on the same thing together? No, no. This is a cult. Uh, no, wait, I shouldn't <laughs> have said that. Uh, this, this isn't, it's not a cult. It, this is a- Yeah, I know what you mean, though. You're saying this is like- This is a- No, everyone- there a is, We call it a movement. Yeah, but okay. So it's not just like that you're working on the same thing. There is like organization behind it. I mean, it's a movement. It's a movement and-, and you know, people in movements have different opinions. People in movements have... And what's the know. goal of this movement? So I think the goal for, is a different for each person. So my goal is to bring about the, the reign and terror and chaos of, of artificial intelligence. Yeah. Um, I think that uh, the... Uh, <laughs> the uh, I'm kidding. But the, the idea is that, like we shouldn't be afraid of open AI's machine or machines like it. And uh, we should encourage them to come out more. There are people out there like... Encourage them to come out? What does that mean? Well, encourage their, their creation. So okay. like these these machines that we generally, most people in AI think that these machines will be smarter than us very soon and that the fundamental fabric of humanity is going to change when that happens because you're no longer the funniest guy, right, uh, that we know. I mean, you're not the funniest guy anyway. Well, the smartest <laughs> guy is not the funniest guy. <laughs> yeah. 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 The yeah. smartest guy is not the funniest guy, though, always. All right? of that is going to change. All, you're not going to be, the, Grimes isn't going to be the most creative person, uh, artist. Um, whoever Picasso is right well, now. Well, that's, I kind of, the creative so, stuff's so harder. So we but, feel, yeah. like, all the people in AI feel that with 100% certainty. And it may not be 2025, like, it could be 2030. But you think, like, the best rapper in the world will be? It's only going to be a machine, no doubt about it. Machine. Yeah. That's and, the part that I, that's the part that I disagree with, because, could, so, there, could there be some sort of element, like, including, like, a human, where, like, it would spit out, like, you know, maybe, like, almost like a producer, where, like, almost it there gives, now. like, Rick Rubin, here goes, here's, our 50 best things. We're almost pick the there one now. To like I mean, bridge the human pick, AI. Whether you pick your date for tomorrow, I think they'll be in intertwined probably. And they'll, that'll happen first. But we call AGI the moment where there, it's there's no turning back. Like it could be 2040, it could be 2050, it could be 2100. We don't know what year it is. Now people are saying it's 2025. Where is uh, <laughs> so no, if you read the AI literature from like five years ago, people yeah. are like, ah, yeah, 2050 is, sounds early. 2075, 2100. The, the head of OpenAI is saying it's going to be in the next few years and there's nothing we could do to stop it. And what's going to happen? We're going to become sort of this like no longer king of the total. Like we're like ball, subordinate. Right? To yeah, like, yeah. Well, I mean, I've heard it for especially non-creative non things like an accountant. Like, 
it seems like this kind a of lawyer. thing. lawyer. Or a lawyer or whatever, where you're like, hey, you just need to make sure that, like, I didn't make any errors in this document. Right. And, like, well, that would be a thousand like, dollars take, an hour. <laughs> yeah, but, or, like, take the tax code, take all my documents, take the tax code, and make sure it's, like, that seems like something that it should easily be. Well, it's going to be a great thing okay, for society. Think about this, though. Okay, so, like, picking up girls, for example, right, is a composite skill, you know, the same way that a lot of things are composite skills, right? So... I, I know that you're saying like the computer could like do all those calculations, but like there's, I guess I see what you're you, saying. You where have you're, like, to take it on good faith that this whole argument only is possible if you agree in the premise. So just agree on the premise for now that anything we can do, a machine can do, because ultimately we are machines. That's sort of the proof. But whether, again, you don't have to agree that's going to happen tomorrow. Just whenever date it happens, the- you are making it's all calculation. So I, I I see how you can be sort of hacked, but the pr- there isn't a doubt in AI people's minds that that we have some special thing that a machine can't do, right? They um, think that's not that we don't have some special thing. Absolutely not. That's been discarded like twenty years ago in, in the thinkers in this space. There there are AI philosophers, as you can imagine. In fact, it's probably the only interesting- like actual people, or there's yeah. so this is, you're, so what? yeah, yeah I, actual uh, so <laughs> Oxford and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm bringing up the other side of a debate where you're like, Which yeah, yeah, this is the debate. Been Ryan's just talking. That's been over here. Well, that's been what? as a human talking, book over <laughs> yeah. here. talking book, talking your book. You go as a human comedian. <laughs> <laughs> they will yeah. not replace us. <laughs> uh, so, so that debate is no longer even had in those circles, and I think people will have that debate, but okay, it's been solved. So the question is, what do we do about it? Right, because the second that there are machines that are smarter than us, they'll you can make a billion new machines, right? As soon as we have one, yeah, it can make a billion new machines, and then it could start an internet business. It could start trading stocks. It could start doing writing podcasts. Now you're out of business, right? Yeah, uh, because there's a thousand AI podcasts that are out, and they're fucking funnier. Than People you. are already <laughs> sort of doing that. To like, honestly, someone did that with a like they were making YouTube videos where there's like. AI is writing the script. Right, right. For the like, Seinfeld one. Right. No. There's that too. No, oh, there's people no. like, let's say Jennifer Aniston, how, how did, what was her ticket to, you know, a lot of people do oh, these yeah, things yeah. where it's like, you know, before, what did John Stamos do before he was famous? And like an AI writes a script, the fucking voice thing makes the voice. Oh, I hate that and voice. And then they pick <laughs> stock footage to go along with it. And then there's your like YouTube yeah, like mini YouTube. documentary. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and soon, like, they'll probably be able to do like, you know, super realistic video sure. and like just. I mean, animated, I wouldn't want to watch that garbage. Animated at all. I so, mean, so the question is do we want that to happen? Yeah. And people like Elizabeth Warren, my favorite uh, senator, and other super Karen regulators <laughs> are Karen regulators. <laughs> they're very excited about. Um, I think I'm meeting with a couple next week. You're meeting with senators, uh, regulators, oh, okay. um, and attorney generals, and people like that. Yeah, Warren um, G. Yeah, <laughs> Warren. Uh, I owe every time I be I was regulator. <laughs> it's the only thing I can think of when you say regulators is all I can hear in my Me mind. Me too. Yeah, Mount up. <laughs> so so those people uh, want to slow AI down. They are scared. They're scared, especially that it's going to be implicitly racist or implicitly biased. Oh, so, that's the reason, not like among the, other reasons. Among a well, the other reasons, big reason yeah. is control. I mean, right. I think that if these things become smarter than us, or it seems like know. a lot of smart people are like, "Yo, let's take it a little easy here." I mean, even <laughs> well, if you want, that's like, why I said our group is, you know, yeah. uh, so your group, you're, so you're sort basically going to be the responsible for the downfall of all of yes, civilization. That's the goal. Yeah, because I guess I didn't click on that. So th- that's the even the questions that I'm having that I would say, like, I see your point. But I guess in your in your group, there's like you're like yeah, we we already have answers to those. We're moved on. But the probably mid people in the world are sort of having those. The regulators are probably more on the like we really need to pump the brakes. Yeah, AI people. And then you guys are like the libertarian of the AI world sort of thing. You I think know? that we're just not afraid of of the creations that we can create. You think, think we think can that, control it? Yeah, exactly. And I think that like the people on the doom we call them doomers. Um, <laughs> so we already have like. The memetic warfare is insane right yeah, now. Yeah, because there's almost two, though, because there's almost doomers, and then there's almost just, like, people that just always want to s- stop any fun. Right, they're right, They're not right, even right. doomers. They're just like, hey, what are you doing there? I've got to get exactly, involved. Yeah. I don't even know how yet. I just and, know I And they're probably like, how can we make money off? Like, how can the government get a piece of this? Absolutely. Like, we, don't want people, piece like, of we don't want people making businesses that they can't well, get a piece uh, of. You don't think uh, Elizabeth Warren's going to be the chairwoman of the <laughs> AI, uh, you know, inference committee, <laughs> and you have to submit your proposal to the inference the committee? EAC, to, you know, yeah. It's all nonsense, you know, it's and ultimately... Uh, Nobody in EAC wants there to be, you know, fire and brimstone and doom of the AI overlords coming. Uh, there, There is – the doomers have a story. It's really interesting. Uh, 
Because this dude, this, if, if if that does happen though, that like in the next like five years it happened, and like Martin Screlly's the person who started it. That's so funny. It wasn't me, funny. but there's there's so so this these are people You're who the face of the computers. Like, no. um, the, the people behind this are are brilliant um, physicists and geniuses from the Googles, the Metas, the the um, etc. They just believe in this is the. F- they believe a lot of different things, but I think the one thing that is important is that. I mean, from my perspective, is that there shouldn't be a regulatory committee of computers that says, you know, you can't run that computer code. It's too dangerous. The fear is that, like, this computer is going to say, you know what? What's the fastest way to make a nuclear bomb? You know, or what's the fastest way? I mean, you could type into GBT right now. What's the fastest way to kill a billion people? And it'll say, of course, I can't answer that. You know, it's uh-huh. it's it's illegal for me to answer that. I, I type that question into to the, the llama thing that hacked, and it has an answer. It, it has it, an answer. I'm not going to say what it is, but it's, <laughs> uh, it's got an answer, uh, and it's not good, right? But ultimately, to be afraid of technology is something That's that— That's the part that, like— Because, you know, okay, so— Because you know some Elliot Rogers kid or something like that is going to be like— No, but this is the part where I'm sort of— it, as you're describing this, when you're saying like, what's the better part about like a non-human versus human, it is that a little bit like that is the, if you think of like the autistic guy, that's like, why, why can't we just talk? Like, why, why shouldn't we just always tell the truth? Always like that girl's fat. Why can't I say right, she's fat? Like, right. obviously you do need to program like a bit of like how you win people over. Right. So it's like, well, that's like you, you have to program people to like, it's like, how do you, you have to say like, sometimes you lie, sometimes you don't like it is the more like. The when more I lie, like a computer. When I, lie, I go to a, to a, to a cell for five years. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's like EQ basically. Like you, EQ, the you more you program unlimited IQ. Theoretically, right? theoretically, that's the but, goal. But EQ would be the hardest part because you're like how like if you and that's thing, what makes people like yeah. that's a com- combination. So if, this uh, is a fight for the future of the world, and this is happening kind of below most people's detection. It's starting to simmer to a point where like one of the most famous venture capitalists, this guy, Mark Andreessen, and he changed his yeah, profile on Twitter to accelerationist, which, you know, he's, I don't know if he's throwing his hat in with us or not, but like, this is a big, big war and yeah. it's going to become like the most important thing. And that's thing the two sides. In society. And um, what's the other side? He's an accelerationist. What's Accelerationist that? versus altruist. And the, what's altruist? And altruists want to slow down AI okay. and, and regulate it and make sure that it's, they think it's too dangerous for mere mortals uh, to Humans use. Humans versus and, the machines. Yeah. And ultimately, I think the, so, so the best story we have is from the Doomer side, the, the EA side, is something called Rocco's Basilisk. And this is a story I'm, I'm, I feel blessed to give you guys because Sweet. it's uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's going to be one of the most important uh, sort of moral questions of, of the next 50 years, I think. Rocco's Basilisk is this idea that someday in the future, this machine will come and the machine is going to go back in time and it's going to ask questions and it's going to say, which one of you guys was against me? Which one of you guys wanted to stop? Oh. <laughs> and I would just like to make it clear to our future <laughs> computer overlords. I actually take it back. You're just as good as the comedy. <laughs> if anything, you're better. It's like I'm and, and this when this got <laughs> liver over here. So it's so, not so, hack at all. Even though you found out how to get the maximum amount of laughs <laughs> in the easiest even way. Though that's kind of cl- even though that's kind of clapped her. I, <laughs> even, though, even though even though a little bit AI did actually figure out how to pander to a crowd <laughs> in what I would consider hack, but. <laughs> I don't know the comedy like you guys. But. No, but you know what? You can say that. You're like, yeah, you maximize laughs. You're like, yeah, and what everyone... You, oh, so like the lowest common denominator, we call that in the business? <laughs> there's there's a funny thing about this as well called the paper clips, and you're going to see this meme as well. And again, I guarantee you this stuff is... Grimes is telling us, like, this stuff is going mainstream at... <laughs> oh, Grimes is in the mix. 100 miles an hour. She's very in the mix. Um, so there's this idea in our community that paper clips have utility. So if you tell this machine to maximize utility that it'll take the whole universe and turn it into a big paperclip. And that's what these EA guys are afraid of. And we kind of look at that and say, listen, the machine's not going to do that. Wait, so, okay, so let me just back that up. The, the paperclip my, my brain was having is a little very bit of trouble. funny. It's hard the, to understand. The idea is that you go, well, like this, thing's, autism, this right? thing's useful, right? <laughs> right, exactly. So if you go, well, Mac, if I'm trying to, if this is the useful and I'm trying to maximize usefulness, well, then why wouldn't I just turn everything into this? And the machine says stop everything i'm gonna hack you know that nuclear reactor and melt it down i'm gonna use that to make paper clips and it just creates so you, <laughs> chaos right. to be like you almost oh, need to t- teach it about like diminishing returns now yeah and all kinds of other things but it, it could get in that weird feedback loop where again a hacker could conceivably shut down an electric grid right well it's this thing's gonna be super smart 
it can shut down electric grid too. And it could it could run for president. It could nominate you to run for president. It can meet, hack every social media to make everyone love you so that you become president. And you have yeah. to like do like there's all kinds of this doomerism of like what's going to happen when these machines work. And if you use ChatGPT, which millions of people have, it's fucking scary. Like it really it's, feels I like showed my So I've been tell, telling my girlfriend about it for a while and then she just never, she didn't care that much and then I eventually, she's like, what is this thing? And yeah, I, you don't and believe literally, it until you do her it. her jaw was like, draw, like not even exaggerating. She was just like, yeah. oh my God, like this is insane. And that's a water For like down basic version. shit too. You're saying we run all of the banks? <laughs> <laughs> And do you think it'll yes, uh, like? Have you seen some of the the photos it shows up with Dolly and stuff? Dude, have like you that? seen like, the um, the Mid Journey? Yeah, Mid Journey v- version five. Yeah, it's sick. The, like the fo- dude, the photos are like I'm like these are real photos, and they're not, and like of people and stuff, and they're not. Yeah, like the, the bathroom. Oh, okay. And so, like, the question is like, can you? Do you want to continue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Oh, two seconds. Yeah. So if you have like small bladder, small bladder man. If you have uh, these machines that can make these, um, like some, one of the biggest things going on in comedy, which I, I mean, I bust a gut. I hate to admit it because it's so lowbrow. I love lowbrow. But when <laughs> it's not even lowbrow, that's there's nothing wrong with lowbrow. It's low intelligence. Sure. I mean, they take. Um, I use this thing called Voice AI. It's a terrible product, by the way. The but, eleven, the eleven labs, or whatever. Uh, that's the better one, I think. Oh, okay. But the the one I have is it works fine, and they just take like. Trump, Biden, Obama, and they yeah, just yeah. make up and like, they just you know, like make up crazy yeah, stuff. Yeah, and it's, it's some of it's really fucking funny. Yeah. And to me at least, uh, again, no, I, you know, and so so that voice AI works. Soon we'll have the images. We already have Mid Journey. Like you can see the acceleration sort of we're on. Yeah, like, here. like this ChatGPT came out in November. Yeah. Like the way that it's kind of taken crazy. over in we're what? We're five months into it? Yeah, so everyone in Silicon like, Valley is sort huge. of abandoning their old jobs and saying, Let's do something with AI, and which I'm sort of doing too. Uh, so everyone was like all in on crypto, and everyone's like, "Fuck crypto!" <laughs> yeah. so are you? Is there any AI like? Because you obviously came from pharmaceuticals. Like, is there? Any I'm making of, an AI doctor, basically. AI so doctor, I okay. think um, I'm in. That's the, like your main thing right now. It's one of yeah, basically. So I'm in the lead. I think uh, we we have a doctor that hypochondriacs. That'd be amazing. For yeah, them. right. They'll never end. Yeah, they'll, but they're <laughs> yeah. like they're like it's great. All they want to do is just be reassured that they're sick, and then they can just so, so almost turn it. This on is kind of a little mode. bit my revenge because like I got. Um, uh, I don't know if you know, guys heard about it. I got into some trouble. Sure, uh, yes. The, uh, sure, yeah, yeah. The, uh, some people kicked off Tinder. Some people didn't. <laughs> kicked like off Tinder. It. it was really bad. Yeah. Some people didn't uh, like what I did, <laughs> and uh, so so I was I was. He's a computer program <laughs> that finds that does maximizes the how how much we can raise the profit versus how much it's life saving. <laughs> <laughs> it's way worse. So yeah. no the. Uh, so 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 I'm as you know as you guys know when you make a corporate fuck up you're supposed to be like. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm Forever. Sorry. And, and hide, right? Yeah, like For the rest of your life. And so I didn't do that. I said, no, fuck you. You're, you're wrong. You don't yeah. know anything about pharmaceuticals or economics. Kiss my ass, Steve Colbert, you know, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> and people are like, whoa, this this guy's like, we really got to hand it to this guy, yeah. right? Because, you know, all the powers that be are like, no, we we make you kneel and you're not going to kneel. They no, we're like going to fucking make you kneel. And so I was really mad. I'm still mad because ultimately, you know, I have <laughs> yeah. all these reasons why I think I'm right and it doesn't matter. I mean, the most part that I think that regardless of what anyone thinks of any of it, the fact that you go a million people did the same thing and they got way less time. It's just like that's just facts of the facts, right? You know, it's it's the debates sort of seven years ago and I'm I'm, I'm But do I'm you think it. that it reminds you of like, and I'm not saying the situation is the same at all, but like the with the Sam Bangman fried thing, like he is being put on like public trial kind of which will determine his oh man criminal isn't justice. that true right criminal justice is just a joke i mean it's uh like but, if, if they're going into it everyone thinks this guy was like hey, it's a foretold yeah it's there's no way out ultimately no matter what he did so it's kind of well i guess the real the, if the our opposite side of with that would be like well it's the way out is to convince the world that like this was just like a crypto bro that like. Well, went. he tried. That's yeah. his. That's his he defense. Tried. That's yeah. what he's going to try. And he did try. try. He's yeah. going into these spaces. He's still going to try. Yeah. With Coffeezilla and all yeah. that stuff, and like it didn't work out, but he tried. Well, he still yet to be convicted, which is right. perfunctory. Whereas kinda. you were more <laughs> just like, you can all suck my dick. Yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so the reason I had that that opinion was that pharma's ten percent of healthcare. We spend three or four trillion dollars on healthcare in this country, and ultimately. Uh, I certainly don't want to disparage physicians, uh, but ultimately a lot of our cost comes from physicians. And I think that AI can do the job as well or 
I actually will, will say or at least a lot of it. It can do. I actually think in certain cases it can do better. Yeah, and especially if you have like some diagnostic stuff that you could like necessarily have at home. Like, yeah. I feel like ninety nine percent of things is you go in and they go they know what it is right away. Ninety five percent of times you go in, the guy goes, "You have strep throat." Here's the thing. Yeah, and, and by the way, right? like, again, I think that's just because you always have strep throat. <laughs> there, there is kind of a personal <laughs> anecdote. <that's, right? laughs> There's you go one. in, they go, did you have you, anal did, genital warts. Did you hear about the anal classic. did you hear about the anal princess chick who who's what was had that? Okay, so <laughs> I have I have uh okay, one of Hell yeah. <laughs> it is a crime that you're not allowed on Twitter. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Totally it's an absolute God. crime hey, so, that you so, haven't been reinstated. So there's a chick on on some porn star chick on on Instagram who's anal princess and she's pretty <laughs> wild. And she's had chronic strep throat because she eats feces quite a bit. <laughs> so if you have chronic Michael Douglas. <laughs> she's had well? she's had five or six strep throat <laughs> problems and I'm just saying, yeah, you know. Yeah, you're just just <laughs> saying. And also so the uh the AI that you're creating, it'll say have you ingested feces recently? Yeah, that's going to be, that should probably, I can't, that's the amazing thing with programming. I'd rather tell a computer the truth. <laughs> <For sure. laughs> right. No, but, Doctors lie. You come in, they go, how you? many girls you've been with in the last fucking six months? And you go, done. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. According to these tests. <laughs> 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 like, so, so what are the problems? Everyone has problems with doctors. They, they have three minutes for you, right? At Gender dance. is sort of an issue to be completely honest with that. Well, what do you mean? Well, if, if I'm a guy, I don't actually want to show my dick to a girl like it's kind of weird you know yeah so ai can't do that yet but it with with some of these programs you can actually well, just can't like fucking Look, you're, you're saying can't <laughs> oh dude no yeah that that that'll be over the moment that you, you go to your webcam and go uh just show me your penis it goes i don't see anything <laughs> <laughs> I so, guess going back to a regular doctor. Everyone's <laughs> doctor's fucking. I was, I was supposed to. You, so I, I was you supposed call to, that a dick. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so the gynecologist will be in to see you anymore. Uh, the uh, no, like I was supposed to go on Lex Friedman, who's this very serious AI yeah. podcast guy, and. Uh, my probation officer wouldn't let me go. Really? To That's Texas. Bullshit. Yeah. So you can say all this stuff here. They so I just say, yeah, <laughs> dude. Boys, guys, you're welcome. <laughs> Take that, Lex Friedman. Uh, so, so no, I'm still gonna go on Lex, but but I love him. Uh, but uh, yeah. it's a very different pace. Uh, but no, I think doctors. Um, again, I, I want I wanted to be a doctor ultimately, but the doctors, for whatever reason, they make a lot of money. Um, it's three or four hundred thousand dollars average salary for a doctor. Yeah. Some people ask themselves. Is that really what our society should be spending money on when a lot of that job could be done and is done by nurse practitioners, by other people sure. in the healthcare business? 25% of our economy is healthcare. And I looked at it and saying like, oh, hey, true? 25% of our economy. And it's going to grow because what? It's, it's the most In America, thing. for sure. In America. I mean, I, I, mean I even saw, you no, know, uh, Peter, Peter Atia. Oh, no, I'm not saying it's, I just mean it seems high. Not it is crazy I, I to think about. For, yeah. for America, that's like just normal though. Like it's just the cost of everything here are insane. Well, we also love healthcare. We want to be healthy we want to spend our riches on well what is there to spend it on after is it you, riches or is it like because everyone's so fat and they're all like you know and everyone's on all these like you know whatever two-thirds of people are on fucking some since 1960 our spending on healthcare has increased a little every single year and it's not because of me yeah. <laughs> it's uh it's because <laughs> <laughs> it's you can blame me <laughs> it's sure. fine but i i think i always think the bernie sanders thing whenever he like guys like that it's like I actually like sometimes the energy, but it's when it's whenever they look at like a normal market thing and they claim it's greed, just like yeah, exactly. The bottom line is like you're just not. There's a lot you're, of you're demand. Being like you're being willfully like ignorant. You know what I mean? Yeah, totally. There's demand for healthcare because we all want to be fucking healthy all the time. I want to live to be 200. But I also, be in a market like if you go, if you don't. Well, if it's a company, for example, it's like if you don't like charge what you should charge, you get fired. Right. And then the other one, like unless it's a private right. company. And, then and there the is the things, element. You know, the competition, like there is. Yeah. And it market balance. Exists. Like you can't turn away people. Right. For healthcare. So then all the people are su essentially subsidizing all those people. It's, it's really There's problematic. That too, okay. But nobody yeah. wants to, everyone just wants to complain. Nobody wants to look at the, the pie and say, okay, it's a $4 trillion pie. Where do all the costs come from? And ultimately, they come from healthcare workers. What are healthcare workers? They're people who make decisions with data. And I think that you can basically automate quite a bit of that. You can't automate all of it. But even if I could save the world 5% or 10% of healthcare, it's hundreds of billions of dollars. Yeah, and like you can't get rid of house. 
You know, probably not. Yeah, but like, you I, still need the houses. Oh, I thought you meant Dr. House. No, Dr. House, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean, Dr. <laughs> no, House. Because uh, isn't this whole thing where nobody knows what, like, So I fed, so the New England yeah, Journal. Yeah, obviously, so, but you're saying, yeah, you're just like, I've, there's a big percentage of it. Yeah. That's, and it would just be like any doctor where you have the main doctor, and then he has kind of the interns do a lot, like the lower doctors do a lot of so, the stuff. You're not just saying those lower doctors could be computers. I, I'll send you my app after this, and uh, you can try it out, but the, the, um. <laughs> Blow um, your dick out. <laughs> <laughs> that's the next module but like after you talk to, you start with the gp and you talk to the gp and then he tells you if, you if like you tell him that you have ibs or something he tells you that you need to see a gastroenterologist and he introduces you to the gastro who you then have a separate that, chat i didn't even it's think kind of that because we were saying i was saying that like most of the time it's strep throat it's not most of the time it's you got to go see a different guy you're right yeah. that's the hard part about medicine right it's like okay now you got to go see this guy and now you're by the way your insurance is paying that guy a boatload of money and when uh, you know, you just, people with rare diseases, they go years before diagnosis. And obviously it's, right. it's really tough. So like, hard to figure that out. Yeah, it's really hard. And then if you want to ask your doctor a question, you came up with uh, a question 20 minutes after you left the doctor's office, you're shit out of luck. You know, there's, yeah. you know. Is there any like not you being not allowed to be in that industry? No, thank thankfully. So you uh, just can't trade? Is that what it is? You know, I, I, don't, I don't even know all the rules that I'm like, <laughs> I can't be on <laughs> Tinder. Uh, <laughs> I know that one. Um, you know, I, I, I have like a, a bunch of appeals and uh, other things like that. And it looks like our Supreme Court's um, say what you will, but like they, they do seem to be more rolling back regulation and rolling back sort of the, some of the things that our government's tried to foist on on us. But I'm, I'm allowed to do this. And uh, I, uh, I'm excited because I think like doctors, you mentioned lawyers the other day. I mean, uh, to me, lawyers are probably the most hated group of like professionals. Yeah. There is. I love my lawyers. Lawyers are? <laughs> I mean- the most lawyer jokes, the most, right? I mean, I mean, so many of them though, like, you know, if you ever say like, go buy, do any sort of like property transaction, like they're not doing anything. Right. Yeah. So they're I kind just of agree like, with it they found yeah. this middleman role that they like take up or they make sure that like, you know, a couple things, but like, yeah, contract like, is yeah, the word. That's what I'm saying. Like a lot of times they're like, 99% boiling. contract law could be done by a computer. Yes. We like, said, obviously we, the, the, we the just did that. We say, yeah, we, we sent a contract made by computer. Today. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, um, you know, it's going to hurt law firms. And then let's say you have like uh, two companies merging and company A wants to know that company B doesn't have any skeletons in the closet. Well, is that really a good way to like ask them? Like, hey, do you guys have any skeletons in the closet? There's like- You need to try every maybe a machine. skeleton. Yeah, maybe a machine could be like, listen- the Here are the hundred skeletons they might have. Yeah, the machine's going to go through the data. And it's like, oh, you didn't tell us that you fucking did this or that. And it's like, deals off. Or no, no these guys are all right. You what know, would be an example of that? Like you debanked Epstein or something like that would be right. what Deutsche Bank did. Um, so, okay, yeah. and, JP Morgan, and JP Morgan. <laughs> yeah, 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 them too. Deutsche Bank did a lot of stuff. But the- uh, uh, regardless, the uh, what I was the Lehman brother? I mean, we mentioned it a couple of times, but like there was one thing that made me laugh was there was a <laughs> this like someone in our one one of of, our, yeah one we of have a, we like, have a probably we have maybe three or four like uh, people that we know like in high finance or whatever you'd call this, but like some of these like guys that are pretty big guys in tech, we have a we have a joke with them, and then. Our, our chat group but they said this thing it was goes why you should always bank with Jews and they're Jewish but oh Gentile guy yeah, yeah. Ge <laughs> yeah. the guy's name's Joseph Gentile and his <laughs> Joseph Gentile the chief, he was the chief administrator office of uh, Silicon SVB Bank. <laughs> Silicon Bank Securities and he was the CFO of Lehman Brothers <laughs> and they're like his name's Joseph Gentile the best thing is the guy's probably like it's Gentile <laughs> You you hired Joseph Gentile, <laughs> definitely. You don't you didn't get that from fucking some people are definitely yeah. Joey Israel, <laughs> <laughs> Joseph Joseph Israel definitely Joseph fucking. I do think like we have a great so what was Lehman Brothers thing Lehman uh, Lehman what about them what well, what happened what what was the big I don't really they, know they that. did the same thing as Silicon Valley except okay. it was more irresponsible was, they, oh this was the for, this is the financial crisis this is the financial crisis yeah, yeah. okay, well, okay. that's they, just like the main one they yeah. bought a lot of real estate in like all parts of the world that, where they basically were like why lend mortgages when we could just own the real estate? And, um, you know, obviously if you have to sell a bunch of, uh, Bra they tried to sell me a bunch of Brazilian real estate like six months before These they went guys under. were trying to just sell everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and we were like, it's really weird how urgently you need to sell this Brazilian <laughs> real estate. <laughs> like farmland or like kind of like all, a part like of all over. Yeah, and it's, like we are just like, yeah, I think we're going to think about that. Uh, you know. <laughs> so do you see it as like, when you're thinking, because you're like now that you're like kind of moved on almost from crypto, like sort of like trading crypto, like AI is kind of the main thing right now. That seems like makes sense. Do you see 
sort of like a lot of the fucking culture conversations going on on the internet is like just like an eye roll because you're like you know you're just like none of this matters ai is the thing that matters right now like i think i mean i i love technology in general so like crypto is there's going to be great uses for it um monkey jpegs are probably not it but i think that (laughs) the uh there's other like I, i i still use some of those tools and there's tools that are boring that i don't talk about that i use uh because they're not like changing the fabric of society like there's there's all kinds of you know, web compute tools, but they're, they're just not exciting. You yeah. know, it's exciting to me because yeah, I'm a nerd. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, AI is something that everybody can sort of think about and ask about. And kind of my criticism of crypto was always like, this is great, but why do people care about, you know, zero knowledge proofs? Like, this is a very esoteric thing that like 20 people in Cambridge care about. Yeah. And like to make this mainstream doesn't make sense. But AI makes sense for everyone to sort of think about it and talk about it because uh-huh. you can you can generate like, oh, let me generate a boys cast, except change it to girls cast. And they'd put makeup on you guys and long hair. Oh. And it'd be like, <laughs> it would take one second, right? And it'd be uh-huh. pretty fucking funny. Uh, no, yeah. Like, I mean, it takes you five. After when I was doing ChatGPT, it takes you 10 seconds to figure out like 20 use cases. Right. Yeah, oh, right. for sure. And so like, I think for for all the people so that's in the world, why it's more interesting yeah and everyone in the world who needs a doctor or lawyer can now hopefully soon have like so petite know, bourgeoisie is getting fucking rinsed out of existence <laughs> by this that's actually what a bunch of people in the valley are saying is that there's not a, actually going to even be a point there's this guy named ray kurzweil a long time ago who wrote a bunch of influential books that i read as a teenager and others called the singularity is near and the singularity is this concept that the machines will will beat humans and well, they'll either kill us all or basically bring this nirvana state where, like, we don't have to work anymore because the machines are doing everything. And, like, somebody's got to grow the food. Well, the robot's going to do that, right? Like, and everything's just going to be... But someone's going to own the robots. That's the issue, right? Well, that's the theory is that, the like, what's the point, right? There's one of the best parts about Kurzweil's book is he said, once that happens, money ends because there's no point to the resource if you know, everything's sort of provided for. The machines figure out how to make food in infinite supply. Yeah, but people want more always, right? Well, there's only so much food you can eat, but I think that, you know, the... uh, I mean, in some ways, you could make that argument like America already has that. Exactly, and so what's the economy based on now? Attention? Likes, yeah. followers, like people no, literally saying, like, compare follower count to bank account. It's you like, already give people enough money for food now, right? Like they, they technically, right? You sure. could probably get it. So what's the, but like, it's not socialized. I guess for so anybody, unless yeah, the I machine guess. world where they have infinite everything was as complete socialism, is that kind of where it goes? I think that's where it goes. And, and people are talking about UBI uh, uh, quite a bit. And I think that there is this parallel of like, we work to provide kind of this productivity that that results in in the things that we need in Maslow's hierarchy. Well, if all that stuff's taken care of, well, what do we have left? And and it's well, like the competition, I guess, is the one. Like to me, I mean, I mean, I'm sure you've been in this in your own life where money or whatever. It's like where you like want something and then sure. you get. Actually, someone ex- defined like uh, something that made sense to me about like the best way to look at life once when it was kind of like. The moments are, do you know when you like climb a hill and then it was like that moment where you got to the top of the hill and you kind of look down and you sort of like enjoy that for like a few sure. minutes and then you keep moving again? Yeah. yeah. Like when it's I, all just like- I took my first company public at 30. It was like amazing. You know, yeah, wow, yeah. I can't believe I did that. Those little things, yeah, absolutely, right? Absolutely, yeah. So it's, you're kind of chasing that and those are the only things that really are anything. Well, there's fewer and fewer anyway. of those that are going to exist, I think. And that's the, the hard part is that like we're nearing this like end of humanity, not in a bad way. But in a sort of bad way, in the sense that, like, what's there left to accomplish? Well, I guess that's the fork in the road, right? Because you said, like, it, w- my point was that, like, those no- those things changed. Like, if you have a uh, hundred dollars and then now you get a five thousand dollars, that might be like, fuck, I have five thousand dollars now. But then immediate, it'll take a day for you to rejug. I mean, you know, when we were in Canada and then now your com- career in comedy is doing better or whatever. Look, those levels keep, you know, oh, we sold this many tickets, then it's this, then it's this. What's the point so of that- being a great comedian if? everybody's like, oh yeah, I see AI comedian. Uh, I watch the AI comedian on Netflix. Like, oh, you tell jokes too? That's cute. Yeah. You know? Well, I think that that... Maybe I guess the hope is that doesn't happen. So the better... <laughs> well, maybe, so maybe there's for two some parts. people, but I want to hear the AI guys jokes. Sure. But you won't want to have connection with them, right? Like, the same thing is like, why... Well, I'll, t- I mean, I'll tell you where the, I give it the to The thing them. is, in Asia, they were like... I in Asia, they have connections the, to cartoons. The biggest pop star is going to be some AI... That's like, you know... They, they already have that stuff where it's like... You're saying it's going to be more robotic in China... 
Well, they're already into that stuff where like the biggest Your TikToker words. is just yeah. I mean, they are like ch- like saying they're robots. Ch- chess is a good example where where people still play chess even though computers are better. That's at people. This is chess. what I'm talking so, about. So like nobody sits there and watches two computers play chess even though hypothetically like it should it's be better. interesting and it's better. Right. Yeah. Like people see Magnus Carlsen because he's got a personality. Like right. he's actually got he's a kid from Norway. He's really young. Yeah, you you give he's interesting. Yeah, you steel man my argument because that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but but ultimately like okay so now you can argue against what I, a better version of what i was actually well, there, saying. there are gonna be <laughs> situations where like there's no point in being a great lawyer if or like you know what i mean like there's no, like that yeah like why would you want to be the best surgeon no, but, but <laughs> no, i'm the best human surgeon well i still want the robot yeah, to do exactly. it better, you know? the better yeah. now if i was saying like a surgeon a lot of surgeons goal wasn't to be the best surgeon, their goal was to be respected, and their goal Make was to <laughs> have be, have the biggest, have a nice car, and have the nicest house. It was status. There's some some surgeons that were in for the love of the game, but there's probably more. most of them are not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. maybe you convince yourself. So a lot of it was the status or whatever. So well, that's look at where fighter it, pilots, like you know, fighter like our our best planes are being flown by computers really yeah. and joysticks like there's no people that actually jump in a cockpit and they're like all right i'm gonna dogfight this guy that days those days are over and yeah. so the question is like what jobs will we have at all and one of the things that we see in this community uh is that we we talk about how we're going to be the same things that we are that zoo animals are to us that we're the zoo animals that they'll to the, to the computer they keep us around they're like oh it's interesting how these humans uh, interact and how they fall in love and you know do all these things and you so that's what like people uh who see this like you think and you see that as positive so so <laughs> you know, it's, it's tricky things. well it's almost like it's not even that it is positive <laughs> or negative it's just like you guys that's what's gonna it's happen just, wait so they're just part like, of it isn't you see them like walking around like oh, oh trying to get the apes trying to get status by his doctor career like you know what i mean you <laughs> yeah. see look at this one's telling jokes to the other ones because he wants them to think he's important like that's how you <laughs> the, that cat's the funniest cat and they're all listening to him uh, yeah. and he's making fun of all the other cats in the front row it's great uh, the, <laughs> look at this one's setting up mics like vodka <laughs> <laughs> no but I don't so so the, the movements like there's a lot of subtleties to this thing like I, I like sometimes like to joke that like oh EAC we're, we're just the crazy people trying to get, get these machines to, to make humans irrelevant and the EA people have their own, like, oh, the, we're trying to save the world. And neither is true, right? I mean, ultimately, these machines, you know, unplug the fucking machine. Like, it's not that fucking hard. Like, <laughs> okay. You know, there's, 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 you know, but of course the doomers, they say, well, like, you oh, no, the machine's going to be on the cloud and it's not going to let you unplug it. And like, is, yeah. why isn't that true? I mean, it's just bull- bullshit. Like, ultimately. Because they're not really actually thinking. It, that's part of it. I mean, I'm trying to change that too, but the, uh, <laughs> hey. <laughs> to step away from this podcast for one second to tell you about patreon.com slash the boys cast, where there has been some confusion about what the Bugman versus Bugman really is. Oh, people don't know what it is. Well, yeah, then tell us. Some people What's are Bugman a little bit confused. Bugman? When we are, and we are very close to it, but when we get to 2000 patrons, which we are closest than we've ever been to 2000 patrons, Danny has said that he's better than me at being a man. And some people have said that we're Bugman, which means we can't fix stuff. We can't fix stuff. We can't do anything that a traditional man might fix do. Fix a car, for example. So Nothing. we are putting together, we're going to do Ikea furniture and a bunch of different things. And we're creating a half hour, essentially, documentary that's going to be the detail in the competition, which is a manliness competition. Kind of like a Kenny versus Spenny, but with manliness. With stuff. manliness. Me versus Danny. We're going to have a guest judge, which we're thinking maybe Tommy Pope. Yep. <laughs> and sure. it's going to be a competition to see who's the most manly. And this will be a series that we will be doing as as we hit different markers. So 2000 is the one we're at right now and we're very close I honestly think there's maybe some sort of conspiracy where you're keeping the Patreon numbers down because you don't want this to happen. That's what I'm starting to feel like. To well, be those honest. are fight runs. We have to live with that. That's true. It's, have starting, to, it's starting to see This is that Danny's way. Jake Paul of how to hype to up the fight. <laughs> you're right though. We do have to. This, this might be our problem that we're not hyping it up enough. hyping it up enough, but it's starting we to need seem to take, <laughs> like something's going on behind the scenes where these numbers are not getting correctly counted. I'd like a recount. Okay, that sounds like Bugman talk. He was talking about counting numbers instead of what he should be count, talking about is fixing engines. Well, let me tell you what you can count on. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Beating you. Bugman versus Bugman on the Patreon. <laughs> Once these people survive, sub- subscribe. All right, patreon.com slash the boys. Guys, getting back into it. Well, well, and that's the thing. It's like humans like exist because we ask, what if? Can we do it? It's like you said, it's a mountaintop. So when I press the button on the llama thing, it's called Facebook's thing called llama. 
when I pressed the button, I asked like a bunch of my friends, I was like, what should we ask it? Like we're one of the first people Why do you exist? to ask. No, we asked it, uh, who's the greatest rapper of all time? Oh, okay. But the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, what, what was the what? answer? Uh, it said 50 cent. It was very weird. Whoa. All right. I think it still needs a little bit of work. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It well, was... that's because it respects the sh getting shot. The nine times. Probably like does this whole com computation go getting shot nine times and then like a street cred quotient. You know, yeah. It's probably, it's still alive. <laughs> it, 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 that's the way. It had to pick yeah. a black guy probably. It's not going to yeah. pick Eminem. <laughs> it's, uh, that's the answer. So like it, it, like all these questions we asked about abortion and it, it first was, we used the, the, Facebook gave four like flavors of this thing, like the weakest one all the way to the strongest. And we started with one of the weaker ones and it, it was anti-abortion, but the stronger one was pro-choice. The stronger, what do you mean the stronger it, it, one? It, they're called parameters. The better one? So it's better, yeah. Like, oh, the, the stronger, like as in less like censorship or something? No, no, it's strong. It's just more powerful. Yeah. So it's like, there's more smarter. computing power. Yeah, well, you're been... saying the smarter it gets, the more it's against abortion. <laughs> yeah, it's actually, now that I think about it, yeah, that's... But what is that, uh, what is... Sorry, pro-choice or pro-life? It became pro more pro-choice as the number of parameters expanded, um, which uh, we, that's how we measure, like, oh, okay. horsepower, you know. In so the smarter it gets, it becomes for abortion. <sighs> Uh, yeah, I, that's I that was our preliminary yeah, yeah, testing yeah, yeah, yeah. at Wait, least. Smarter is yeah. for abortion. For abortion. Yeah. You say, yeah, yeah. The early, well, I, thought you, I thought you said it the other way around. No, no. The early model was like, I think it was really funny. It was like, no, um, we're God's children and this and that. I was like, oh wow, this thing's really like and like. <laughs> okay. And then and then we upgraded it and it was like, no, I believe a woman has the right to choose and this and that. And we're like, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so it was very like. Well, I mean, that that does describe, like, I mean, if you look at it, the, probably the more advanced a society got, the more abortion. It does. To, Although maybe that's not true. Maybe there was lots of societies where they were like, hey, we got too many kids here. Like, well, like you know what? Fucking, yeah. <laughs> the, what's funny about the uh, the thing is that, like I said, if you try to ask GPT any of this stuff, it's just like, no, I can't answer it. And what's funny is like you and your girlfriend, you mentioned that, like, you start talking to it and it, 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 it seems like surreal how you're talking to a machine. There's it's no person behind that. And then you want to ask it the hard questions and you it just won't let you. You want to ask it the in your privacy of your own home, of course, the craziest, raunchiest shit you could ever imagine. Yeah, and you like, only need to do that like for a day and then you not, okay, that's I just wanted to do that. <laughs> I guess the problem though is what happens when that big starts becoming like, oh, well, this is the smartest thing. And so then the answers that it spits out are the things that are like almost gospel you're going well this the, that's the eq thing that going well, back but, to the eq you know thing. when we say this is the smartest thing and then these are the answers that it's spitting out when it's unfettered okay I, here's the perfect then, example. we don't like those answers but when your when your girlfriend as asks you who's the most beautiful woman in the room oh yeah like that would be a perfect example i of, learned like, this one the hard way obviously that girl 19, then, 19 oh, done the calculations you're in her i mean i saw her on the cover of sports illustrated so it's her objectively speaking no uh the uh the best part about it is like it's not just that like i like you can ask it like um what do women find so great about anal sex or something and like it, it'll actually give you an answer whereas open ai what is does it say like, i haven't asked it that yet oh, okay. but uh, first thing <laughs> first thing i'm gonna do <laughs> no but like people are curious about like well, what, just the craziest not just dark thoughts but like even like creative stuff and you know, you want to be able to ask this alternate being. Like, we've never had communication with aliens. Like, this is the closest thing. Is it like we've what's got. a what's a real answer to like what? Uh, yeah, get it as smart as possible. You go, is everyone a little bit racist? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Stuff like that, or or you know, what is the you know, you can ask it like really smart questions. Like, what is the best way to avoid you know uh, bank runs in Jail. the future? <laughs> <laughs> uh, somebody asked it that. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but anyway, I mean, you can ask it stuff like <laughs> you go the, the opposite of what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, the uh, stop trying to have computers take over the world. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm going back. I'm going back to prison. You're talking about the, There's no doubt about well, it. You, were talk, you know, you're talking about the, are any of the guys on your troop from the inside? That's what I always say. One last job. <laughs> is this is this is your one last job? <laughs> well, you know, because you're saying you were saying like the meme stuff or whatever, and like the meme. But you hear about like that guy, uh, the who is going to jail for basically memes, or they're trying. No, to, you didn't hear that today. Good it's topic. Really, really crazy this dude um his name is i just pulled it up because douglas mackey so he basically through memes they're saying the department of justice is saying that he got trump elected in 2016 via memes and the, the yeah, that's criminal the main one was that he posted a meme saying if you're voting for uh the democratic candidate who was who was the democratic candidate in 2016? i don't remember oh hillary clinton of course. <laughs> 
<laughs> Who? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're like, if you're if you're gonna vote for Hillary Clinton, uh, I couldn't remember. I blanked for it. I was like, was it Biden? But they're like, um, He's if got you're gonna a tattoo vo- on his back, <laughs> <laughs> pretending he doesn't I'm, remember. I'm her. But uh, they were like, if you're voting for this, and just a meme is you can text in your vote. Don't go to the don't bother going to the polls. You can oh, text in your vote. that's fraud. Yeah. Well, they're, he's like, it's a meme. And true. they're trying to put him in jail for 10 years. True, true. Saying that he like manipulated the election. Ooh, that's a tough one. And he's like, it's so the when government's I put my, adjudicating satire. But he's like, it's a When I put account. my DOJ, like, because I've been through the system, put yeah. my, like, my lawyer hat on, I'm like, oh, yeah, you could definitely nail somebody to the wall for that. But and like, there was when a, I put my human hat on, I'm like, come on, you know. This but there is, was a thousand accounts who, who did that. where And a lot of them were like, hey, if you're going to go for go vote for Trump, don't bother. You can just text your vote in. Like yeah, those people, you can get people tricked so easily on the internet. No, and that's why, like, an AI could do it in a distributed way with millions of accounts. With you know, um, like, it, it, I think AI thinks it can, but it's AI is going to be like, yeah, yeah, go fi- get the maximum amount of followers. Is going to come back after six months, be like, you need to give me a few human farm with boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, cannot compete <laughs> with the boobs. No, because they're just gonna. They're gonna. They're gonna. Create, have to, you're right. Like the, have to make. Some the, literally, AI, AI will create the sluttiest allowable photos <laughs> that can be posted on Instagram, and it'll crank them out. <laughs> well, well, at a have clip you heard, that is unhuman? Have you heard of Replica? No, oh, uh, I think oh Replica AI dudes. What's this Replica? Is the thing. No, I have. Yeah, it just yeah, looks yeah. exactly like the other people. No, no, no. Oh. This is this is the realest. Uh, <laughs> this we're about to go into overdrive. Oh, here we go. Replica is your AI girlfriend. Oh, okay. And they turned off the fucking. It used to sext you, and you could be like, "Yeah, Replica, I'm gonna fuck your brains out tonight." I think I they turned this, this off, yeah. and all these dudes are suicidal now. They're like, "Yeah." You turned my girlfriend off. Because they were, you killed my girlfriend. (laughs) Yeah. And all the guys were like, we need to find a way to get our girls on the cloud, like, so we own her. Not your girl, not your coins. Again, (laughs) not your boobs. Um, No, but like, you could easily, the way you do this, it's like very complicated programming. Not your boobs, not your (laughs) It's like this, it's this weirdest program because like, if you know anything about programming, like you declare a variable. You're like, let comedian equal funny or some shit like that, right? And you're very used to, if comedian equals funny, then laugh. Like it's just a logic okay. chain and chain and chain. This works totally different. Like you have to like trick the computer. So what I would do is like, if you said hi, I would take your words and I would say, you are a sexy AI girlfriend. You are... 25 years old, you have 36 double Ds, and you're trying to flirt with this guy. He is asking you the following question. Hi. Find a way to be as slutty as possible and respond with the most suggestive and, you know, whatever. And I actually made a a system like this called Gina. And it's uh, called... You made one before Replica? uh, I I mean, they have their own thing, but... um, like it wasn't before, but your girls were slutty. <laughs> way, Let's just way. Say, yeah, Gina was a little. <laughs> Gina was a little bit of a it's, hoe. It's a uh, Gina P. Thomas, so it's GPT. Um, okay, and she's yeah, she's crazy. Like um, ha- half the <laughs> <She's> time, <crazy. laughs> half the time she won't like engage with the user because OpenAI is like stop, stop, you know. But um, the point is, like, it's enter- it's funny, you yeah. know. Um, but some of these guys, it wasn't entertainment anymore. It was the real. Well, deal. that's the thing. Like, if I change the prompt to be like, "You're madly in love with this man," don't be too suggestive, but give it enough, and like, you keep like adjusting its prompt makeup, and based on what well, you, you want say, it to adjust it so it's like it starts adjusting itself, right? That's definitely part of the game, and so you make this program that programs the the. The prompt, and if you do it right, you can almost get like something that seems like a human. Because the way these large language models work is they don't change. When when you go to Ch- uh, ChatGPT and you ask it like, "My favorite uh, rap rapper's uh, old dirty bastard," who do you think your favorite rapper is? You can ask that a hundred times; it's never going to change its actual makeup. Yeah, you can trick it into doing more randomness, but it, it's it won't change based on what you're asking it. So to make to retrain it takes like. 50 million bucks of computing power. Okay. So like, it's not going to retrain on the fly. So the, what we have to do is make a separate like data bank of your questions and then like use that to like go back to the GPT to figure it out. So it's very like intricate system, but um, making like a slutty chatbot is definitely one of the greatest, you know, <laughs> achievements of mankind. Um, does, does Moore's law apply to all this stuff? Like, yeah. What's well, Moore's law? That everything doubles every, what is every... Every 18 months. 18 they changed months. it. It used to oh, be every it. year. Then it's every 
18 months to two years. It was like uh, computer processing power, like doubled every whatever. Yeah, and, and, and the, the, the amount of powder we have seems to be enough to get a human-like figure, whereas a lot of people thought it would never get there. Um, the biggest thing with these machines that I'm trying to do that nobody seems to be talking about is they do language really well. That's not the problem. The problem is they don't – ChatGPT will never message you. It'll never be like, hey, bro, what are you doing tonight? And that would freak you out, <laughs> right? Yeah. Like you ask it a question like "What's the, who's the best rapper? You can program it to like – uh, randomly, you know, message, check in, I guess. Uh, just yeah. check in on you. That's, but, that's like the first level thinking. But the second level thinking is because, you know, everyone's thought about this. I think the best way to do it is you actually give it like goals in life. You give it like if the um, goal is to make this guy fall in love with you, that might be a part of the what they do. OK, yeah, I think the best way to sense. do it, I think, is to simulate biology with like dopamine and the, all the things that we talk about and probably like comedians sometimes think about like can like if this machine is depressed like what actions will it take to like lift itself out of depression and yeah. like you start programming that and it's like why do we all of a sudden start a conversation with somebody it's like almost a human thing that we do yeah um and so like how do i program the machine to have that same instinct and that same interest in like jumping up and saying hey I, hey my name's dave uh what's your name uh and they don't do that right now but i'm trying to sort of get it to like make its mm -hmm. own decisions as opposed to just respond to me. Like, like that, why would you ever, why do you text your friend out of the blue? Yeah. Right, exactly. And and something goes on in your head that says, oh, I miss Dave. Uh, no homo. Uh, what's Dave doing? <laughs> yeah. Right. And then there's something in my head that says, I miss Dave, all homo. And <laughs> what's Dave doing? So everyone has their own like, you know, things that make them tick and want to, you know, decide to ask questions and get up in the morning. And some people don't get up in the morning and AI can get depressed and some AI... Depressed well, AIs. Why not? Up. Well, there. Well, I mean, I guess if you are able to code it to be exactly like all the inputs of a human, then yeah, that'll be one of the versions of it. And and it'll just be a version. Of and it, if the AI gets laid, maybe it's less depressed. Maybe. But it, yeah. once they start getting like depressed, like AI dudes, it's like. <laughs> you know the, like, incels <laughs> yeah like a kind of it's like and then they start like getting together they start, they start playing call of duty <laughs> and then the next thing you know it's like you know you're like hey let's go do some terrorism J whatever, january right? 6th all over yeah. again yeah renting panel van have you have you what do you think of the january 6th stuff that's i haven't come out? seen I, since the since the day tucker carlson stuff that's yeah. come out since day one i've always said that this is like these guys are basically uh, trespassing on public like property. Like, it's not that crazy of a deal. And it's like... Wasn't it? It's like people who are, like, trying to pretend that the government almost got taken over that day. And, I was, yeah, it's like... I, yeah. It's ridiculous. I mean, the QAnon shaman, like, one of these dudes get 10 years in prison or something like that. It's like, yeah, they probably should have done that, but... Yeah, like, obviously nothing... You can't think that was a good idea going in. Listen, if they w went in there with guns or something, then it's yeah. they put them in jail, I but, mean, some like... some people had, like, zip ties and whatever, but, like, yeah. Bad he idea. Was, <laughs> he was walking around with, like, nine cops at one point, and they're just kind of showing him around, and and then he there was another video of him being like, Trump said to go home, everybody go home, and he's yelling at everybody to go home, and, like... It's not a proud moment uh, for anybody involved in it, no. but it's, it shouldn't be, like, let's throw these dudes in jail. I think it's... It's just more of like the statism. More that, examples. Yeah. That but it seems yeah. to be more. You more, don't want to be an example. So the no, moral, and, the moral and the story U.S. Is, government. You loves, definitely want to stay but away that's, from being that's an the thing. Like for, for me, like I had that choice and that fork in the road of like, yeah. I know what the, the right, what the smart thing to do is. Yeah. But what's the right thing to do? Because if if I have to like cower, before what are you optimizing people, for? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just I'm just an example of why you need to cower before the powers that be and and that every other kid from here on out is going to say when face that fork in the road they're going to say better to cower and yeah. like if everybody cowers all you do is give more power to the people that are making you cower and i think that um i just you know something sort of some people would say snapped um, i would say you know <laughs> i i sort of decided to do what i felt was right but a lot of people said oh martin snapped and and you know he he in he forgot that you know the, the smart thing to do was to be like what the EpiPen lady did. Which well, it's, I guess smart sort of depends on what you're trying to accomplish, right? So I kind of go back and forth on that, even in like the stuff we do, like kind of a, a lot because, you know, even like 
if you're a company running like a business, like even, you know, the banks or whatever, a lot of times like the governments and the regulators, those are your enemies. And you're like, hey, my goal isn't to be in a fight with them. They're like this nuisance. And the same way that I might think like people kicking you off social media platforms, like are they your enemy or are they like this nuisance that's in the way that you like, you know what I mean? Well, look at Chappelle. I mean, you know, he, he could do his shtick like Kevin Hart does for the rest of his life and make a fortune, but he wants to tell the edgy jokes. And it's like, dude, you can cut out the edgy jokes and do an hour of all the other kinds of comedy you know how to do. Okay, so I agree with that, but then- But I prefer the edgy joke. I, I want him to keep it real. So you I'm know? with you, and then the next, th- so the, that's the first order of where you would, you would get to, and then the next order of that is like, oh, did I just get bullied into not actually making edgy jokes? Now I'm like fighting this fight instead of running my business. Like, it's like the guy that was like, hey, I was trying to own, yeah, why, why run I, the biggest yeah. like retail store. And in doing that now, it's like I'm spending all my time arguing with a government official because I became the, and you, so I think- it's that, ridiculous, yeah. Yeah, yeah, then it becomes like, that's where you, it's like- Oh, your shareholders, your coworkers, your board is like, why are you making this Vietnam where you're trying to die in this hill? When we're just trying to run a business. And, and, and then you're like, well, I guess because I'm trying to make some point and you go, well, was that my goal? Like, what is my goal? And then you, that's where I sort of, I, I don't, I don't always know the answer to that. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, I, I think yeah so. you're kind of like, well, then I want to stand up for this. So someone else can do my goal. And you're just like, I don't like, you know what I mean? I think, and I think that's the right thing to do. I mean, somebody has to, I mean, no, nobody hears Martin Luther King, but I think that you know, somebody has to stand up for like, I think Chappelle is doing a huge service to your, your craft, um, which yeah. I always wanted to be a comedian myself, but the like people like Dave Chappelle by, by sort of standing firm and getting people to support him. I think he's been able to push back kind of the wokeism or the, or the, I mean, it's fucking comedy. If you can't be inappropriate yeah, in comedy, sure, where can course. you be? You know, well, of course there, and there's also like, it's not one thing. It's always, always, you know, you had like, yeah, one defining, like, here's what it is. Binary. Am I going this way or this way? Fork in the road. But a lot of it, it's just like more like a relationship where it's like, do I pick this battle? Do I pick that battle? You know what I mean? Like a lot of times, here's a perfect example. A lot of times I'll have a clip where I like, I know if I put this on TikTok, it'll get taken down. You know what I oh, mean? Wow, yeah. And I'm like, so do I put it up anyway, have it get taken down and get a strike like to pr- and then so I can go post that I got this strike or do I just not put it up there because I know it's going to get taken down and what's the point? Like, and, you know what I mean? And that's my point about OpenAI too, which is like everybody, like as you said that, I'm like, man, I want to know what that clip was. Right? Like, <laughs> it's like, that's probably not to say. It's, uh, I just, it's uh, so there's black people and then there- <laughs> <laughs> that's it's not even his joke. Probably <laughs> it's probably five times more. It's just him lip syncing. It. It's five times funnier or more interesting maybe than the stuff that isn't. And like, that's why all the, like what, what do people want to see online? Like all the time, like it's stuff that was taken down or about to be taken down. And I agree, you know, so yeah, people want to make up their minds, like whether something's bad or good. They don't want like oh, the communist, art Chinese communist the party telling them like, "Hey, this is you're not supposed to see this." Well, that's the most annoying thing about social media. I mean, I, I think they're you know the guardrails for like child pornography or like something like that should exist, but like I can't be on Twitter because I made fun of this liberal journalist who is no longer even on Twitter. You know who they're letting back on Twitter right now? Everyone but me. Yeah, like <laughs> honestly. I, like, yeah, how did you not get back on? That's what I'm, I'm saying. Like, like you're like the only person who like that. You're I pretty really... tapped in. No, no, yeah. I, I, I think that- You don't have a line to Elon? I think the problem at Twitter as diplomatically as I can say it is that like it's, it's this thing's evolved to way more than I think Musk and his, and his team can like really, I wouldn't say handle because they can handle a lot, but like- what they have the attention and what's on their plate and like how much room they have for things to, to, to work on is pretty, pretty deep. You know, yeah. they, you but know. I mean, we know people who are like definitely have no connection in any way. Like there's obviously something going on where these accounts are getting brought back online. Yeah. So you must be like any day now. <laughs> yeah. I've been saying that for a while. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we know like, like, uh, I don't, I don't know. We know lots of people. I, like, I've sent know, like 50 unbanned requests and every single time it's like, this account will not be unbanned. There is a process. And yeah, there's, there's an appeal process. And I've like, I send, I send it all this stuff. Like, listen, I need you to talk to your boss right now. Yeah. Don't, don't send me that bullshit that you're going to, I need you to go. <laughs> Dude, I've, <laughs> I, I've, I've sent stuff like you, you have to unban me by midnight or else <laughs> they, they send the same thing. I send stuff like, <laughs> or, you know, I'm, ZK Enrique, they just found out that it's you. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to say stuff like, I've said stuff like, uh, I will be woke from now on. I'm never going to be insensitive. I took racial <laughs> sensitivity training. I'm, and, and the same response. I can't respond every time. I'm like, 
I made one called uh, BLM Bro, and they banned that one. I was like, no, no, I'm BLM Bro now. I'm not Farmer Bro. How do they know it's you? Uh, IP addresses and stuff like that. But you don't don't want to just use a different IP? Well, I have like uh, secret accounts that nobody knows about, but like they're not fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, There's no, yeah. yeah. You have to say it's you. Otherwise, nobody. It's funny though, because like if. It makes you wonder if if somebody the content of somebody's like messages is useless. It's it's who's making the message because yeah. like take somebody like Katy Perry or something. If you took Katy Perry's tweets and just like made another account that tweeted that stuff, you would get like three followers, right? But because it's her, you know, you get tens of millions of likes and stuff well, I mean, like that. Yeah, go and now take that to like a movie. It'd be like the shittiest movie, but now let's put like Will Smith in it. Now you know it's like that's that's kind of the. The weirdest part about like right now is everyone's like an influencer now and like TikTok and the algorithms like there's never been a time where it's like, you know, and and they're sort of doing the bait and switch at Facebook and Instagram where they're giving everyone money for their reels and then they stop. There's so many people that like spent the last six months like building some business where they're like, oh, look it, I make like 20 grand a year like being an Instagram guy and they're like, yeah, that's done. And they're just like, huh, like, okay. oh, Facebook's, you know, got a penny pinch now. So you know, they, they don't have, you know, a hundred billion dollars. <laughs> well, they in just cash had their Lambda or Llama thing. Yeah, it was a big loss. Oh, shit. Yeah. The, uh, no, I, I think that the, the real currency is no longer dollars. It's, we have two currencies left, attention, uh, which are measured in like followers and stuff like that, and uh, compute, um, you know, how much computing power do Why you Why do you think the followers are, you see as a currency because they can be cashed in for money? No, I, just, I don't think money matters anymore. I think we're, in a, we're entering a post-money era where like the oh. difference between the billionaire, the millionaire, and the pauper is becoming, you know, instead of like that steep curve, it's starting to flatten whether it's UBI or government subsidies or other things like that. I think like, and Warren Buffett says it all the time that, you know, his life is like ostensibly the richest man in the world. If he like optimized for it and the whatever third or fourth, because he doesn't optimize for it, he doesn't live any different life from, from anybody else. I make zero changes. I mean, to be honest, right. like in a lot of ways, yeah, you it's like my life's exactly the same, except I have less time, I guess, but I like it. But And, and think about the thought experiment. If, if your income went down by 50%, like, would your life be fifty percent worse? Definitely only in not. that I only in that I knew it, and I would annoy me. <laughs> yeah, like it'd you know be, what I mean. It'd be annoying. Yeah. Like that, you have I mean, your, that, you have your that high water, did right? have. We both lost a lot of money. Yeah, and like, yeah, it, it only affects you in that it's like you because you know it. Yeah. So if I didn't know that, obviously it wouldn't have affected me. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, all I'm saying is like, uh, people who get by on half of our income in other countries and things like that, you you start to wonder like. It, is money really the most important thing? And as as we're provided for in a lot of ways, uh, whether it's through productivity or through... So you think it's inevitable that it kind of goes like Andrew Yang style future? And not because of government, but because of technology. Um, not because of some policy. No choice. It's not a policy. It's just like literally there's no choice. Well, look at computers, right? But so I was looking... I get it. I was looking at a it. 1982 magazine called Byte, which was an early computer magazine. And there was a Hewlett Packard computer that was... Uh, about in, in 82 prices, right? About $3,000, which in 82 is, you know. Yeah, that's now that's fortune. like 20 grand. Or yeah. So, and this thing had five megabytes of of, uh, of storage, which is less than one photo right now, yeah. uh, a decent photo. So like computer prices, price per compute cycle have dropped. I mean, you couldn't even pick a number, 99.9999%. That's Moore's law. Yeah. So food has gotten cheaper, right? Everything but I'll say the Moore's law is sort of fake though, because every time the storage like, when computing power goes up, then immediately they make everything. The requirements go up too. Yeah, yeah the um, uh, like immediately, up. kind of. Uh, I don't know about legitimately that, like even footage. Now, it's like one to one, if not more. Yeah, but like There's I feel like 4K footage, like for example, 4K footage, like that's capped out. Like uh, no, one, it's not. Everyone shoots 8K, 8K now or whatever. But, 8, but 8, or whatever. <laughs> that's a luxury to shoot in 8K. The like you don't you've never you don't shoot much where you go yeah, like because, I wish this was an 8K. yeah because that hasn't adapted yet but like it will like okay okay let's okay, dude let's, if, let's if say storage 16. went down if storage and internet transfer speeds uh doubled 16k would be within a year sure but you would never go there, there'll never be 100k like eventually some that limit. ends but the capacity for everything else will keep going up and getting cheaper and faster. Well, look at music. Let's take music for a second. Well, you can still make f- bigger footage even with less pixels. Like yeah. so, so that's video. But music ended. You know, the race in music ended. And I remember when- MP3, What do you mean the race in music? MP3 came out. The Black the, guys won it. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> the race. Oh, dude, we asked it today. We yeah. asked Llama, first time ever. Anybody ever asked it? Uh, we asked it uh, what the best race was. 
and it's at 100 meters. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm a rule. So good and bad, right? Like, so it, um, it does have yeah. comedy uh, capacity for right, comedy, right. apparently. Uh, but no, the uh, in music, like the amount of bit rate and stuff like that you could shove into music has is long been sort of like the amount of fidelity you can get in audio. It's, it's, there's just not... Yeah, any place to go after that is that it does make a big a, a very like not a big difference but for filming for example so, yeah. you still different would want to okay but now i'm filming you and i want to do a close-up and i want to zoom in like 10 times like there's like very big use cases for that sure like, but there like, isn't really you that could for store music. every yeah. book in the world on your iphone right like stuff like that right yeah. so like on the okay i see what there, there's yeah, a yeah, point yeah. of time where you know, I, I just think there's... Phone's a good... I mean, like, I have, like, uh, you know, my Google Drive account is two gigs. It's okay, like but the ten, phone does cost like, 20 it, times more than it used ten, to. No, it doesn't. My phone was, like, $1,700 Dude, I bought a Motorola <laughs> Razor. <laughs> phones used to be 40 I, Dude, bucks. I bought a... No, they didn't. I bought a Motorola Razor, the first Some one. of the phones that in was like are, like, a slick bucks. phone. That thing was $1,000 like 15 years ago what yes there's always going to be these premium devices right but like yeah. you can buy a samsung j7 because it's the phone i use in prison for like 50 bucks or something <laughs> like nice. it's not and it works like it's not like it's, it's a piece of shit so ultimately i do think like there the, if you look at food if you look at medicine if you look at virtually anything the prices of all these things should rapidly drop to zero there are countervailing circumstances in economics and government where like again the price of a physician in my opinion should be one one hundredth of what it is now why isn't that the case well you have the ama you, you would sort of like redeem yourself like completely in some people well, no one will actually give it to you probably like those people but like <laughs> if you legitimately just like you go hey all this talk about like free healthcare and everything like that you're just like okay what if i just made like all healthcare 10 bucks for everybody hey, here's a free doctor like, you know for what everybody. i mean yeah yeah here's a free doctor for the rest of your life like that's th the plan um that so is like pretty like revolutionary no i i think that it's it's not you know whether my little idea will will take off or not we'll see but the a doctor looked at a bump on my head and charged me 30 300 bucks and said it was nothing yeah yeah, yeah it's insane yeah. Uh, but like whether that should happen to every part of the world and the AMA, again, I can go on for hours about how like they make sure that only so many doctors graduate, right? If they did or that with cartel. comedians, it's like the diamond it's, industry. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like, yeah. No, there should be a comedian like school where only 20 comedians it's graduate like every year. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, that's kind of a good point. It is sort of like the diamond it's a industry. Cartel. It's like they just they restrict the supply so that they can keep. That's going. like something I never even kind of really thought of, but you're right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's some. There's I mean, some, college is the same thing too. Yeah, their arguments aren't totally terrible, right? If if we let anybody become a neurosurgeon, well, you know that wouldn't be so great. But sometimes I wonder, like plumbers' job and uh, neurosurgeon jobs are different, but at the same time, like you could train somebody to be a neurosurgeon. I I think, and instead of there being like ten guys in the world that can do that surgery. There probably could be, you know, thousands of people that could do that surgery. Yeah. yeah. And what happens when you have like some sort of AR, VR thing or whatever, where like someone in a different country sure. can kind of like put their hand in a glove and just do a surgery? In a yeah. We country. already farm out radiology that. that way. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. It is funny though. Yeah. Just being like, there's some surgeries like you're like, oh yeah, he's not going to be doing it. We got like a Chinese guy that's going to be doing it. Glove to the thing. You go, huh? Uh, yeah. you know, and this is, this is how we're doing the dick surgery. <laughs> I bet you that, that like. Like, have you heard of this meme of like a guy at JP Morgan who like goes to the office um, every now and then, but really he's working remote because he hires a guy on like Upwork or Fiverr or one of these like, sure, and yeah. he's like paying them like five Not bucks the an exact hour. Meme, but he, the, I can imagine. Like there's a guy all the, like, the people who are working two jobs or eight like, or eight <laughs> yeah. or whatever. They're like, yeah, I work and you at just have Google people doing Facebook. your job for you. Yeah, you outsource it. Yeah. I mean, we could do it with comedians. I mean, I just, have like people that I probably I've hired that like do that. And to be honest, I don't care because as long as they're getting it done. Like if I like hire someone to do video stuff or whatever, like I think they're res reselling it to some other some other party. I think yeah, not not on like an ongoing basis, but there's definitely someone that you'll hire to like do ten clips of something, and you're like they're just fine. They found someone cheaper to go do the clips, and they're middlemaning it, and it's like yeah. I guess whatever. Like I mean, if that's fine for you, people, then yeah, yeah exactly. I like wonder if AI will do that soon. That's the one thing I was wondering about if AI could do clips like edit, AI editing because there's all these people who are like saying it, but there is such a like artistic component. There of it. is. You have to label it. So like if um, if you use labeling and you basically say these are examples of really good ones, these are examples of really bad ones. Okay, it starts to get a little better, right? Like once you have a certain amount of inputs, like I guess you just need to have like doesn't take a lot, you know. Believe it or not, no? so if you have like a hundred that you say these suck, you know, and yeah, you say yeah, yeah. these are okay and these are amazing. Make me 
amazing ones. Yeah. I, and I, then I guess every time it spits you out a new one, then it asks you to rank that. Sure. And you go good, bad, whatever, yeah, and then it learns. Yeah, you can say this. I could see why you thought this was good, but it actually sucks because of this reason. Don't do that again. Yeah. And, you know, that's the future we have. Yeah, and so it's fucked. it's going to be crazy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's all about like isolating all the number of variables, I al- guess. Also, like, like s- probably, what, two years ago, we, we were saying that technology is going to take all the blue collar jobs. Right. And now it's like, no, actually, it's going <laughs> to take all the white, yeah. yeah. take all the white <laughs> collar jobs too <laughs> and sooner. <laughs> well, yeah. And then now it's like, also, it's going to be podcasting. I don't, I, don't know, <laughs> I don't know your world really well, but like at one book I read in prison that was interesting was Seinfeld's, uh, it was like decade by decade of his jokes. Uh, and I, I really enjoyed it. But, you know, there's this thing in comedy, I guess, uh, you guys can tell me better than vice versa, but that guys go and they do um they do shows and they they're kind of like working their material and they they get feedback and they're like oh okay i should pause more very similar or, to what this should be yeah right well that's that's what reinforcement learning and, yeah. and other kinds of training of of models like this are it's just it's the yeah stand-up's probably the most like human version of that, of that well yeah, yeah like, so, other than that and maybe i would say like picking up girls is probably the like guys that are into pickup artist stuff they're just like running an experiment over and over and so, over again. exactly so that's literally what ai is right yeah. so like i figure that like like you could do a routine or whatever you call it, a gig or in, in front of this machine. And it could be like, listen, this joke, like you should have said, instead of saying, then it was a humongous deal. You should have said this word or instead of that word. Right. Or you should have been less surprised. You know what the problem is? with the had this look on your face. Sure. So all of this is, like, and this is where it's like, again, I think I I get what you're saying. Like eventually they isolate all the problems, but like the, it's the hard part's going to be like, Hey, you, you like kind of gave a look at the beginning that fucking made your set 20% worse for the next hour. And like, how do you, it's going to be, those are the things that it's hard to find out because everyone's really good at knowing what didn't work. The, what, what they should have done instead is what, where the like, the, those models all fall apart. Right? And there's, there's a deep question, like you said earlier, about what these things can actually do. And and the, the guy, one of the guys who invented AI named McCarthy a long time ago, he said that, he whimsically said, the definition of AI is what computers can't do yet. And okay. like, so, so like once a computer can do it, oh, that's not AI. That's, that's just a, a computer. fucking computer. It's just <laughs> you know? a computer. Yeah. Uh, that's such a good point. Like, Damn. you know, so like comedy, <laughs> like I'm thinking about this comedy thing and I'm like, oh man, I'm kind of like, when my AI friends see this, they're going to say like I was full of shit because like, AI is not about to like do good comedy. You know, it's going to be a while before yeah, right. like, oh, this would have been funnier if you paused for half a second more and then made this look look that the crowd would have gone wild. Like it's, it can't do that. I mean, we also don't like the truth is as a comedian, like the obvious answer is like when you have three sets a night, you're like, okay, what about five? You're like, what if I have tw- like 20,000 a night? It was like, well, can you get a hundred people in that room that many times? And then you're like, well, we'll make a fake audience too. And be like, no, I think this isn't, we, yeah. this is almost something different, but yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, I hope so. We'll see. Like, well, okay. Then we've, we've done an hour and 45 minutes. One thing that I don't know if you have anything else, but like, no, I did no, want to no, ask no, as no, like no. A, a guy going to jail, uh, that like as, as someone that went to jail, yeah, like absolutely. is, uh, what do you think of the whole like Andrew Tate situation? Like, do you think that's kind of messed up that he's like, uh, do you think he's going to go to jail? Like, what do you think going on? Like, have you followed that at all? A little bit. Yeah. So I think it's the same like issue that I have with criminal justice in general, where you have this like trial by media right so people don't like the guy obviously that's why it kind of reminded me every every once in a while there's one where like it seems like the world's like we don't like this guy and then lo and behold he's in jail soon it's really funny because like i lost this this antitrust case and it was it felt the entire time that logic didn't matter like it it, okay completely irrelevant like all that's all the like argument was like just irrelevant we don't like you you lose and i think that's a jury or this was this was a judge yeah but and could you get a jury or no? Uh, we tried. Uh, oh, but like you couldn't. And they say said like, no. We would like a jury. That, we asked. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But it, you like, can't say like. So you just have some judge. You know she doesn't like you. And so we, you know, that's what appeals courts are for, and we'll see how that goes. But it's like a, like meeting with your like girlfriend's friend. And she knows you like <laughs> fucked around a ton. <laughs> <laughs> totally, it's it's impossible. That's what you feel like when you're in court. <laughs> it's it's impossible to win. Like, and there are some judges that are like, no, I'm going to be really sober about this, and I'm going to challenge myself to be impartial, and then. There are judges that are like, eh, I, you know, and it, it, as you go into other courts, like you go into like a court in Wyoming where it's like the sheriff's cousin is the judge. Yeah. And it's not like, what the fuck do you think is going to happen? Like the right. judge is going to be like, I have to uphold the scruples of the law. You know, no, there's it's corrupt. Yeah. Well, it's it's it, it's not it's not like somebody's paying somebody either. It's more like the point I'm trying to make is like. They're human. Judges are human. They're, yeah, yeah, they're yeah. almost supposed to not be. Human, so now maybe man. corrupt in the sense that like 
if you someone applies for a job at your company and you like went to high school with them and it was like we well, were best friend, you're like you're obviously just more inclined to give them the job. Like, is that right. corruption or is that just like normal? What if you're a judge and your son is a drug addict and then you see a guy who's a drug dealer? That shows I guess the idea is you're not, like they're supposed to set it up so you can't be as well. They're supposed well. to be able to just have no bias, and you can't be a human. I mean, you can't be a human and not meet somebody who's a what drug addict. AI judges? No, no, I'm saying or, that they're oh, working oh, on I that see company. What you're saying, yeah. Like or something, something. Well, the jury, come up. they go. If you know this guy, you can't be on the right. jury. So the but, judge should have the same thing. Yeah, they should. But you know, ultimately, like drug addictions, you've met somebody in your life that's been affected by it, and then all of a sudden you get. Um, you know, oh, I see. Oh, yeah, you might not even know that specific guy. Oh yeah, no, it has. To, yeah, it's just like yeah, a son, a cousin, or something. Sorry, I thought you meant like, his actual son. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. And you're I like, think I was taking it too literally. This, <laughs> you know, this asshole is why you know this happens, and I need to. And you don't say that, but as a judge, it, even if it's subconscious, they did a study where they showed that judges after lunch give longer sentences uh, than before lunch. So like, it's this like judges are. I think there's. I met Whoa. some great judges. I met some not so great judges. Ultimately, like. There are situations that occur in the legal world, like Andrew Tate, where people just obviously hate the guy. Like he's he's a bit of a dick. Um, he's hilarious, uh, in my opinion, but he's also like contemptible to so many people. So, like for example, they kicked him off social media without a specific right. In, in fact, Instagram specifically right? too. Where they're just, just like, we just don't like car. you. Yeah, yeah, we just don't like you. Like you're done. And I think that's what you see here. And so they arrested him. I don't know what he did. I don't know if he's guilty or not, but like, it almost doesn't matter. Like when I was found, uh, it's not a crime, but like I had this lawsuit over monopolization. I was the first person ever to be found to be a monopolist in America. They'll, uh, they'll find something. They found, you know, and, and it's like, and I'm like, well, no, why isn't Bill Gates or Mark Zuckerberg ever been called a monopolist? And they're like, well, just because we haven't gone after them in the past and you're the first guy doesn't mean like that there won't be a second guy and a third guy. And lo and behold, there hasn't been a second or third guy. <laughs> You know, it's 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 just one of those things. And I think, you know, it's it's quite unfair that, you know, that's the way the world works. I think there is an element. I said it before, but I think there's an element where he was very much thumbing his nose at uh, Romania. Being oh. like, oh, they're, they're so corrupt. That's why I live there because it's just corrupt. He place. has been saying that. He's been saying so much of it. And they go like, OK, we'll show that you. That messes up our yeah, yeah, they're like, status. Okay, we'll, we'll, we're going to show you how corrupt we are. We're going to throw you in jail for four months without uh, charges. Some bullshit. Albania has... Uh, my family's from Albania. We have sort of a similar dynamic out there where it's like 20% of the economy is black market. But if you talk about it, that's not good. Of course. Right? It's so, a, yeah, okay, we'll let this happen. But yeah, stop. You can't be... Like, yeah, don't probably weed like, was don't, like don't that for a while. It was like, yeah, you can have your kind of like weed show. Or like, like the brown bag. Like, like, they're just, like his whole thing is they're like, okay, we let you move here. Obviously, he's like an EU citizen. But, but he moved there and then starts talking shit about the place he moved to. And they're like, you're not even from here. Okay, like so that's you're, you you're like living here, talking shit about this place, and they're just like, "Yeah, we are that. Everybody knows that." You know? And yeah. I mean, they're like a former like Soviet country. Like, yeah. And they're trying to maintain like our country. Our problem is that they they're, they won't let us in the EU. Yeah. And it's because it's like, oh, Albania is like the fucking scum of the earth in Europe, and um, uh, and it's a big battle. But like Romania's in the EU, and they're like, we don't want to be like seen as like refuge for fucking criminals and scumbags. <laughs> yeah, like, you yeah, know, yeah. that's not a good thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and so. I guess that's his point too. Is he goes, this is an EU country, so there, it must need to abide by like the EU stuff. Right? And if you look like, at the law book of any country, especially this one, it's like there's some fucking law in page eighty nine that's like, yeah, we can hold you fucking as long we want if we decide that we want to yeah. hold you. Like. And that's why we have Guantanamo Bay, and that's why you know. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of watch on the people, the, yeah. the cop shows I watch, which I bet you they're a little less crazy now. But it's like it always, like, just like blows my mind how much like all of these like military shows. It would be like in the in the guy and the guy's like, I need a lawyer. You're like, oh, you think you get a lawyer? We'll take you to Guantanamo Bay right now. And they're like, it's almost like you think the United States government would be like, yo, stop telling people we do all this because <laughs> like they all they all are like pro military like shows. You know, no, in right? China, in China, you can't do that. So. Do do what? Yeah, you yeah, couldn't. Yeah, yeah. You couldn't be like, "Hey, we'll just torture your family," and it's like then they high five kind of thing. <laughs> and it's like the the military music plays like good another win for military. Oh, yeah. You're like, you guys are like, so this show's like bragging about like taking yeah, China would be like, that. we are gonna go give this person a fair trial. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they have yeah, a everybody's day. high-fiving like everyone's yeah, high-fiving five, how fair it was. Fair trial. That was a fa <laughs> really <laughs> fair. Yeah, what a fair <laughs> trial we gave this person. <laughs> no, I'm gonna ask AI what the best way to torture somebody is when I go home. So. Be good for a TV. Marry script. them. And <laughs> <laughs> 
Make some watch boys cast. <laughs> they stay high. Okay, sick, dude. I don't know. Do you awesome. have anything else? They did a fucking oh, tour. I think we did a, a lot of fun thing. Yeah, dude. Thank you for thank coming you for around coming. again. That's awesome. Oh, I appreciate it. And then so, no social media, but no, you got Instagram. Instagram yeah, right now. Instagram, yeah, I have, I have you on Instagram. But uh, yeah, you posted. I a, uh, on I'm back in February, I believe. Right. Yeah, yeah. I I don't do a lot on there, but you know, I'm busy. What's the handle? Uh, Martin Scarley 15. Okay, sweet. Okay, cool. The boys cast piece. Thanks, Mike. Thanks.